Oh, hello guys, this is Jerry speaking, welcome to Elch Premier at episode um, 378, and today I'll be at to the Pancake Podcast episode um, um, 67, and we're going to be at to this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Oh shit, <laughs> No, you keep eating that horse shit. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna. You remember that commercial? You remember that with the uh, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island or some bullshit? Where the guy went goes to the fucking diner and he's eating all this food and he's getting bigger and bigger. And all of a sudden he's like, you know, room for a little bonus level. And he's like, eats a little bit of whipped cream. And I'll see you here. Some go. Man. Mm -hmm. And he's eating all this food. And he's getting bigger and bigger. And all of a sudden he's like, you know, room for a little bonus level. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, shut that up! Shut that up! Yeah, like I said, he's 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 like got enough room for a little bonus level. And he's like, mmm, you know. Honestly, you're just, and he's like, uh oh, and then a button flies out and then, boom, and the fucking just his his body just explodes and all the food goes all over the place. The best part, there's Man. one dude sitting at the bar and he's like, oh shit, what the fuck? And he's like hitting him in the face and shit. <laughs> that question was on. I was just like, when I was a little kid, I saw. I was like, I was even even back then. I was like, damn. Oh, <laughs> oh my and, god. Oh shit, we're live. Oh, oh really? Really? How you doing? <laughs> Episode number sixty-seven. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We got a great show planned for you guys. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I wanted to start on a little bit of impromptu thing. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> so now let me introduce everybody before we get into. Our topics. My ass is sore. <laughs> I'll tell him to use loop next time. That's very he doesn't fucking listen. Well, wait, wait. Actually, usually it's Lucas's ass that's sore. Man. Yeah. <laughs> for for very obvious reasons. Um. But anyways, uh, yeah. This is the first episode of the new year, everybody. We made it to 2017. Yeah. Yeah. Hooray! Yeah. Woo! Tor 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 what was it? Some, uh, Terry Crews might be making an appearance in a video game. Yes, I heard about this. I hope so, because fucking cancer killed his career. Mm-hmm. Still. So. Of course, and not only that, we also got this little thing about a very odd uh, punishment Canadian pl uh, police are now enforcing. What? Yeah. Man. And, of course, uh... Hey, I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Now, and uh, lastly, something, the new um, announcements that Final Fantasy has uh, put out. And before we get into it, I got uh, <laughs> Professor Wiener's uh, fact fact <laughs> of the week. Yes. So, fact of the week is, uh, Kleenex tissues were originally marketed as a cold cream remover instead of a disposable handkerchief. Really? Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, I'm going to raise my hand. Professor Wiener! Professor yep. Wiener! Yes. I, yes I got a I got a good question. Um, yes. cat dog. You know, cat dog, very famous cartoon and whatnot. Of how, yeah. do they, how do they take a shit? The, uh, I imagine. I imagine very uh, very violent vomiting. Um, <laughs> those ain't, those ain't hairballs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Don't say the show didn't do anything for you guys. Oh, man. man. Hey, it's helped me getting the mucus out of my system. Yeah. Uh, so anyways. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, no, no problem. Uh, no problem. No problem, Mr. Garrison. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Hey. hey, if you're coming back, you better bring some money, bitch. Yeah. I'm not the only one that's the pimp daddy. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Lucas. <laughs> oh, really? 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 <laughs> Pingus. <laughs> Pingus. Ladies and gentlemen. Brother Pingus. Uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pain Again, episode 67. Yes, that's an odd number. 67 and a prime number, I believe. So, 67, we got multiple topics to go for in introducing first. You know him as the pimp daddy, the white motherfucking baron, or if class is in session, bitch, you're going to detention. Professor Winner, say oh, Mac. And then you got, hello, everybody. My name's Elsie Marshall. Did you see my best and worst? Yes, it was the best video of them all. Because I had the best faces. I look like a cartoon character. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, look like a cartoon character. Okay. And speaking right. of sure. that, since <laughs> I'm on a different computer, I can go into the archive of the open uh, chat, uh, open chat uh, conversation, because I have a little. I have. I'm going to share my screen Man. to showcase some of the pictures I got of Lucas. Oh. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Let me put it this way: when I was at work. And uh, I'm doing my own thing. And I keep getting these messages on my phone. My phone was blowing up with all these. It said that <laughs> Jerome sent um, a picture to the room. I'm like, the shit is this? I open it up, and I'm trying to hold back giggling so hard. Dude, I got the fucking giggles so hard that I, I, I actually had to put my head down and, and just lap it out, trying to hide behind freaking counter and such. It was fucking great. And here's the thing: when I was Cal Cade member, some of these uh, some of these uh, photos, I had to get them frame perfect, which means I had to get it at the right frame. Which I had to s slow down the speed to 0.25, a quarter of a uh, a quarter of a uh, quarter of the normal time. Mm -hmm. And right. I was still hitting spacebar like a motherfucker, like if it was the turbo button, as if I was playing Mortal Kombat trying to smash those fucking rubies. <laughs> <Okay? Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so. And somebody, I, I took, overall, I took 53 photos. Damn. Yeah. That's... To where even even Gary made some amazing memes. He did. Still. And I'm so glad I took them. It's like Gary and I is like the, this generation's Bonnie and Clyde. Except he's the female. <laughs> Man. <laughs> um, I was going to do um, film, film plus explained horribly. I don't have any. It's on my other computer. I, if I can think of some off the bat, maybe. And I actually have a topic I would love for us to go over. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It's in a, okay, let's, um, I'm not going to say who was talking to me, you know, all due respect, but he was telling me that he absolutely fucking loves the Panic Game show. That is awesome. Still. Okay. He loves it. And he was wondering, how could I do or present a show like that? So I was like, you know what? If we went in a discussion about what it takes to have a successful show, right. from our perspective, that sounds like an interesting. There, well, there, there's there's a lot of factors that go into it. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. But I was wondering if we can go into debt. It's like breaking the fourth wall to our to us. It's so, like we're gonna be Deadpool, except we're already smart asses to start with. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <clears throat> no, I guess not true. Jerome and I are dumbasses. Saint the smart one. What? <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, man, you're not the only one. I'm the dumbass too. No, yeah, I, I mean, agree, Jerome. I mean, J E R C I E Y. Man, what <laughs> what takes uh, what it takes to make a good show is obviously, as I mentioned, uh, several factors. There's oh, oh, um, oh, oh no, I mean it's the. Uh, the uh, are we starting the topic now, or... I think, yeah, uh, let's start. Oh, I thought that's, that's what you were doing. Is, I'm gonna get into I, I, was, I, was just saying, I was just saying maybe that's a topic we can go over. I didn't know we are doing that right now. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> because... Well, I mean, it, it, it seems fitting because, mm -hmm. you know, we're starting off the show in a new year. Might as well talk about you it. You know what? Right? Yeah, Lucas, um, hold on to your nuts, whatever's left of them, and hold on oh, to the... <laughs> Man! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now... Oh, where is that conversation I had? Uh, I gotta find it. But go ahead, Shane. You start us off. You're on yeah, a you yeah. All right. So what I believe is that what makes a good show a good show. It's one of ours, I should say. I think. I think, in my opinion, I think we're pretty successful. Absolutely. Um, but the thing is, my opinion of why we're doing so well is that we have a lot of character. We do. I think, wow. I think we okay. Have this is one of the things I told them about. It's like the mo okay, the okay, you gotta have three okay, you gotta have three keys. Man. You gotta have um you have to have personality, you have to have chemistry, and you have to have entertainment. Yeah. That's... Those 
yeah. are the three most important traits. If you don't have these traits, it, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, as, yeah, you can't be monotone. That is one of the big things, though, is you can't so, be monotone. Well, the other thing yeah. I'm saying, too, is that distinguishing factors as well, too. Um, what they, oh, what makes people want you to come back to uh, – what, what do you do that makes people come back to your show? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you know what makes it best for us mm-hmm. is that there's three of us. Therefore, yeah. if Lucas says something, I can rebound – off of what he said and make it funny or vice versa between Shane. It's like a, it's like our own love triangle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> it. Every time he says something, he goes, no, not that, not troll, not so troll. I love Scott Johan so much, I want to shoot white legs all over her. <laughs> yeah, it's like a love triangle, except we're all hate-fucking each other. Hey, look, no. what you just said there, I am so using that for the best of Lucas Volume 2. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, by the way, um, my good friend Joe is uh, in the chat, and he brings up a good point. You can be monotone if it's a documentary. That is true. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, a, it's a documentary. The retard love triangle. It's coming to AMC, 9 p.m. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what was it like? Uh, Don LaFontaine, he's like, in a world where crime is under control, only one man with a monotone as bad as John Cena can save the day. Ready to R. Still. If that ain't a great uh, imitation, you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Boys make noise. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> man says sex sells, eh? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean... Oh, no, no, that's what Christine said originally. She was and sex, sex, sex. So I was like... Well, she was no. absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the most sought-after things. Holy flying fucking dick shit. This is Joe, by the way. Every, everybody say hi to Joe because he's fucking insane. You think, Where do you think I get some of that from? This, and this no... Guy. And no, it isn't a joke that you're all aware no, of. No, it's, yeah, it's not. It's exactly. So I talk about with those Mariatz episode, um, um, two or four, and I'm like, dude, you need to shut up. Continue on. Joe. This is the Joe we all want. <laughs> Man. Can I, share, can I share a story with Joe? Yes. yes. I, okay, so there was this time that he, uh, he came over. Well, he, he randomly shows up. Every once in a while, like there was one time he showed up in full like security guard outfit and everything, and he just like nearly crashed my bed for some fucking reason. But this is another time that I had another friend of ours, um, you know him as Cody. He was actually on the show briefly for a bit in the background. Yeah, uh, still. Yeah, him ripping ass. Yeah, because <laughs> he had pet pet fish or something. Bad fish, man. No. Was there fucking mercury in it? <laughs> mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> so anyways, um, they're both over my place and I think we were playing Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear or something. And I had these, um, these sticks of gum that was like, uh, mimicking, uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh my God, they were good. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> Joe says, remember, I'm the hero of this story. It's true. Um, Man. and, you know, Cody's like, oh dude, can I have one of those? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So I, I and Joe already had one beforehand and I, t- I give Cody, the piece of gum. Joe, by the way, is a really tall, lanky son of a bitch. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so he's like Austin. Yeah. Yeah, he's and, like, hey, guys. Oh. And all of a sudden, he just reaches, he uses his long ass arms, reaches over, and smacks the piece of gum out of uh, Cody's hand. He just slowly looks over, he's like, Joe, why did you do that? And he's, Joe is you know, uh, famous also for making stupid faces. So he just makes a stupid fucking face at him. And then I'm like, all right, here, here you go, Cody. I give him a go. Joe comes over and smacks it out of his hand again. He's like, "What the fuck, Joe? Seriously, <laughs> man!" This is also, the same kid who also, um, I say kid, but he's is like it Shrek. Is he Shrek? Uh, he he's the one who shot the rocket launcher into uh, Shrek's face. Oh God! He's the same uh, Joe that saved my life that day. <laughs> man, wait, wait, wait. Joe says, "Y'all remember, I am the hero." Not really, unless you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. Still. Yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, that hasn't happened yet, so it's okay. <laughs> so but, uh, um, this also <laughs> what I'm saying is this is the same kid who one night I was over at Cody's place. This was when we were much younger, and uh, I was minding my own business. Joe comes in, 
he slaps me in the face with fro- frozen sausages, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? He's like, you just got sausaged. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what? Man. You did that to me, I'd be like, yeah, so do you. And I pull down his pants, and I fuck him from behind. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and then, like, well, like a, few seconds, a few seconds later, uh... I hear him going to the other room, and all of a sudden he hears, Joe, ow, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's probably the reaction you have if you saw Lucas eat his mattress. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, mine would be, good lord, man. <laughs> okay, I have to read some of these. Um, hey, Jerome, is there going to be another episode of Fantastic Four? That depends, because Alex and Gary are yeah. working constantly, so... Uh, Leah Brunet says, Romy is my highness, I am, I, I am his king, and I am the queen. And then Metallic Manny says, Romy is love, Romy is life. <laughs> Man! Romy is here to screw your wife. <laughs> Bow down! I'm like Shao Kahn. It's like, kneel before you Oh, mouth. yeah, yeah. And suck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so continuing on that, uh, yeah. that story of, about the, the part two of the Shrek mask, I forgot this was a thing. Um... What was it? Uh, Joe fell back against the... Oh. No, 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 Joe. Actually, what happened was is that... He, well, he shot Cody in the face with the rocket, and he fell backwards. Uh, Joe fell backwards, and so did Cody, but he was staggering, and he hit the wall, and all the pictures were shaking, and everything was fucking crooked. Man. Oh, my God, that was fucking great. I think I have to try... That was, like, one of my favorite stories, dude. <laughs> yeah, donkey. <laughs> yeah, because it's Shrek. Donkey. 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 Yeah, so. Anyways, reminiscing. Reminiscing aside. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let's, Joe just sent me a thing on Steam. Hang on. Oh, okay. Speaking of that. Uh, oh, my God. He, he, found the, he found the rocket launcher. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hold on. Let me share. Okay. Guys, uh, this right here. Th- this right here. This is the. Um, this is the thing that Joe used against Shrek. Okay, oh, let me man. see. Look how big that fucking rocket is. <laughs> dude, that's like, dude, that's like something they, that, that um, Isaac Clark would use in Dead Space. <laughs> yeah. Man. No, seriously, that was the thing. And Okay, that's funny. Oh, yeah. my God, it was great. <laughs> what the fuck? You can kill an elk with that thing. <laughs> yeah, how do you think Cody felt? I <laughs> <laughs> see Shrek coming after you with that big mo. He's like, come here, bitch. This is my swamp. I gotta steal that from Lucas. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, sh- okay. Show it. I gotta see it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Remember how I said, uh, when Cody put on the truck mask and he had this stupid fucking grin on his face? The, the, oh my god. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here this, is, this is what it looks like. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Man. Dude, I clicked on it and I was like, it's like loading on it's like boom! <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> like, it's John Madden be like, yeah, okay, boom! <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> also, I, yeah, this motherfucker needs to tell that I can <laughs> Also out of um out of my friends here in the chat, besides Joe, I do believe there's also Sebastian's in there. So, Sebastian, oh, if you're yeah, alive... I saw him, uh, Sebastian. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's he's my Argentinian brother from another mother. That's right. Oh, you got the kitties! Oh, I'm not the kitties! I'm not donkey. Pepsi, man, I'm not donkey. No, you're the you're the woman. <laughs> man! <laughs> no, no, Lucas is puss in... Hey, Gary, puss in boots! Was it, uh... Leah asked if I, I, me, have uh, ever heard of Critical Role on Geek and Sundry. No, I've never heard of that before. Is it like, a, is it like a like a show of some sort, or is it like an internet show, or is it a TV show? I if, it, never if, it, if it's a TV show, then I definitely have not watched it because I don't watch TV anymore. Oh, great, Christine says. If Romy is Shrek, I want to be Fiona. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there's Aaliyah on the chat. Speaking of Aaliyah, uh, Lucas. What? Lucas. I've been... Lucas. 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 Football. No. Fuck no. it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to football with her in the chat. Aaliyah's in the chat. Aaliyah's in the yes, chat. Yes, I am messaging her. Are you? Are you? 
Yes, I am. Have you read the chat, Jerome? You goofy you ass, you goofy ass, Wesker looking, scrotum sucking, fuck stick. <laughs> Have you seen the chat, Mr. D Mr. Pingus? Have you seen Mr. Pingus? No, it's Pingus. <laughs> Mr. Pingus. Have you seen the chat? I'm, I'm Farquad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could be Farquad. Wait, far Farquad? Yeah, Farquad. Lord Farquad. From oh, Shrek. Shrek. What Shrek? What Shrek was that? First one. It's been so many years since I. I'm, I'm more familiar. I'm more familiar with the sequel. Yeah, because that, that is easily the best one. But yeah, it, it's uh, Lord Farquaad is the, the short guy who's. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Who, who, it's been so many years since I seen. Yeah, who oh, somehow God. almost sounds like his name is Lord Fuckwad, but. <laughs> no, that would be Lucas. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, it would no, it would be Kumquat. So, what the fruit you done? Lord, Lord Farquaad rides a quad. <laughs> Man, I saw that scene. No, it's like they have one where it's like there's four Farquads riding four quads. Man, oh, okay, yeah, Joe just sent it to me. Quad, yeah, Farquaad. about the about the Shrek movies. Yeah, the first Shrek, excellent. The second Shrek, one of my one of the really one of the best animated films ever. The rest of them, I don't give a shit. I love these movies. They're awesome. Continue on. Yeah. Especially the third one. The third one was fucking just ass, man. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But I love the second one, man. That's one of the all-time best. So anyways, with all formalities and such aside, I do believe there is quite a few things that we wanted to go over, I believe. Yes, mm -hmm. I do have a movie review real quick, though, to start mm -hmm. the new year. The first movie review of 2017. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Silence, the new Martin Scorsese film starring Kylo Ren and Spider-Man. Okay, and by the way, he and Austin was at the screening, and so was Sammy. Yes, Man. he was there. Samuel One World, yep. Cool. We saw him there. Um, this movie, I got to say this right now, this movie hits you like a freaking ton of bricks. This Man. movie is some of the most powerful like has some of those powerful injury I've seen in a long time. And I'm saying that like me, Austin said this, I'm going to agree with them. This is a more, p more powerful Christian movie than passion of the Christ. Uh, okay. Stop right there. I believe it when I see it, because when when I saw that it, movie, you have to see film, man. when I saw it, that, when I saw the passion of Christ, that, I, I was balling like, like I did with how to train your dragon Two. man. Damn, it's insane, but this movie has some of the best visuals I've seen all year. The score is amazing. The characters are unreal, especially Andrew Garfield, who I think should get a nomination for Best Actor. Well, already, nomination. Because uh, I don't think we'll get it for Hacksaw Ridge. I think we'll get it for this Silence more. I think, oh, really? But here's I the problem. We'll though, not don't still get nominated this year. I just think it'll be for Silence. Not too many people have seen Silence. Well, it is. Um, it was a limited release, so very limited. It was only in select theaters. It was only in California and Los Angeles. I know it was in California yeah. and Texas. That's what I meant to say. It was only in California. Right. Still, when it first came out. But yeah, this movie. Oh man, the acting is amazing. Liam Neeson's in this movie as well. The take okay. I was thinking. I want to ask you this right now. Uh, uh, Super Mario fan, all three. He's not in the. He's not in the chat, but Brett. He said that Liam Neeson is the early front runner for best supporting actor, or he could win. Is this he, true? He wow. is definitely a front runner. I don't think he's the. I don't think he's better than John Goodman. I really hope John Goodman gets. Well, I think I think John Goodman's best leading actor, but that's another argument for another time. But go on. But yeah, mm -hmm. Liam Neeson does a great job when he comes in the movie. You feel an impact. Like he definitely provides a great impact in this movie, though. So, I will give him that. He does a really good job. He is definitely one of the front runners. This is Silence is going to get a ton of nominations. That's for sure. Still, it's not Oscar bait. Especially when Scorsese with um with Best Director. No, this is not Oscar bait. This okay, is such a great movie. It is one. It is definitely a fantastic film. You need guys need to see this film when it comes out. Oh, it's there's like a ten out of ten to start off the year. Now the movie. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I, actually, actually, here's one thing. I do have one nitpick with it. Right. That the problem with the only thing I really have with this movie is, I don't know if I can watch it again for another couple of months. Probably. Uh, wow. Powerful stuff. I, I heard it was fucking brutal. Like I don't mean brutal. It is brutal. Like, 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 brutal as in the like like graphic. It is brutal and it is pretty graphic too. There's one scene 
where it's mm-hmm. like there's one scene where they're I'm not gonna really spoil anything, but when something happens, oh my god, your eyes just go, Jesus Christ, man, oh, man, it, it literally just <laughs> <laughs> literally just wakes you up, man. It's unreal. Like it is such a powerful movie. Andrew Garfield, I know, is gonna get nominated for this movie. I don't think he will get nominated for Hacksaw Ridge, but he'll get nominated. He'll only get one nomination. That's bullshit. I right. think I think he's the best in terms of the Oscar front runners. I think he should win. He should Still. win. For Hacksaw Ridge. Well, Ridge. he'll get it for either Hacksaw Ridge or Silence. But if I had to put my money on it, I could think he'd get it for Silence. Oh, there, he, uh, there's, there's Samuel. He's in the chat. Still, uh, yeah. like, I agree with you. Is a film you guys need to see. It's impactful. It literally, I drove the first like 20 minutes from home, literally just and with like nothing on, like no music or anything. Because it's just it's sort of cool. having a very silent, like, contemplation about what you just saw, essentially. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. Cool. It is such a great movie, though. I highly, highly recommend you guys see this. But how wow. long is the, the movie? Our is over two and a half hours. It's two hours and 36 minutes. From Whoa, the- that's wow. Movie. That is. But Martin's, here's the thing, though. Martin Scorsese knows how to make. Lengthy like movies that start like two and a half hours long fly by really fast. Actually, you got you know so like like I said, Wolf of Wall Street, um, The Departed, uh, Casino. Those are great examples. Yeah. Wow. Are those all Scorsese films. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And those are some of my all-time favorites from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, go good, see good fellas. Movie. That's like two hours and something too. Wow. Damn, so he does like some pretty lengthy films then. He does. Yeah, and the crazy thing is, he doesn't need an editor on like Peter Jackson. <laughs> wow, a message mm. shot for awesome. <laughs> I, know I do that. want to. I do want to transition though, because I want to transition from my first movie review. I don't know if you have any movie reviews, Jerome. I got no, but I got I got a beef with you. About what? Well, I okay. do. Is it, is it Chunky Campbell's soup? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did want to have oh, a good God. transition because just because just because it had beef broth in it. <laughs> okay. But anyway, though, I do want to have one Lucas, thing to transition. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Lucas. Right. What was your number three best one of the year? Anomalisa. And when did that came out? It was a wide release. January. <laughs> I asked you when did it originally came out in the U.S. January third, December thirty. <laughs> Answer Quinn. When? December thirty first. Only five theaters, all in California. Then it came out in the U.S. in twenty fifteen. Yes, technically for five theaters, only in five theaters it came out, and it was only for critics. That's all. And over. for the movie Silence, are you gonna say this is a twenty seventeen? It's a wide release in twenty seventeen. I'm going to count it. Like, here's the thing, though. It's because I've done it for Zero Dark Thirty, Stoma, Nomalisa, and Silas. Because how am I supposed to see this movie unless I'm a critic in California, like a high paid critic in hey, California? Hey, I saw The Revenant and The Hateful Eight before it ended. So, no. 420. That, that's because they were both online. That's the problem. It's exactly. <laughs> I'm not even, how many will see, how many will see such these great films with. But literally not being like in California, they're not only well, like. Well, look at you know with your skills. If there's a will, there's a way. Still. Man. But for I don't see why people can't consider this a 2017 and 2016 movie. Still, mm, you know, because awesome. Honestly, would back me up for it. It's not a, not a bad thing to have it. Well, like, yeah, you know? I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it, it's getting like lawyer technicality at this point. Like, yeah, I, 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 I find me Phoenix right over here. I, I think, I think that you know, <laughs> hey, I do live by Phoenix, man. Good point. But... Yeah, you know, you know, no, no, you heard the thing. Austin would back me up when I say uh, two plus two equals zebra. Man. <laughs> he'd be like, you know, he'd be like, whoa, guys, two plus two equals orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Man. I'm going to slam my head on the desk and be like, oh, my God. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> Phoenix, right? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Is that all the beef you had, Jerome? Is that it? Yes. All right. Are you absolutely certain about that? Yes. 
All right, good. Because I wanted to use this movie and then now with my silence review, I wanted to transition into my top most anticipated films of 2017 plus a little rant I got going on. So, Mm -hmm. because I got a lot of stuff to talk about. So, I'm going to be seeing the following movies in 2017. These are the ones I'm most anticipated for. Bro, stop farting. Can't help it. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's like... Anyway, I'm going to go into my films, most anticipated films that I'm going to see, and film that I'm already getting on, like looking forward to. So I saw Silence, so that's gonna be out. So next up in the month of January, I have only two other films: Split, which is the new Michael, the new and my Shyamalan movie. Which I'm actually really excited for. No, I'm really not. Good. Fuck him, dude. Fuck M. Night Shyamalan. I already went over this. Uh, actually, that's one of my topics. Is Shyamalama Ding Dong. M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong Dick. I, I, so, I, I, just, I just said that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, um michael keaton movie which is not eligible for this year's oscar because it's been delayed like three times mm. was supposed to come out in august then it's supposed to release in november now it's releasing in january but it will not be in consideration for oscar nominations so, though from what i know i'm not 100 percent sure on that one but oh i got the phone ringing all right hold tell him tell him hold, hold on a second hold on a second fuck off okay as you are all right next up for february I got three movies for February. They are John Wick Chapter t- Chapter Two. You might see that on my most anticipated, which I am doing tomorrow with Gary and a special guest. Oh, nice! Then the Lego Batman movie. That's also on my most anticipated. <laughs> Man, and then finally, one that you guys aren't probably thinking of: uh-huh. A Great Wall with a new Matt Damon movie. Okay, that's actually online, but it's in shitty cam quality. That is what? true, though. Well, I've I'm never even heard of it. It's with new. It's with Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> the movie month of March. I got Logan. That's cool, oh, dude. That's hell yeah, hell fucking yeah. You got um, you got the same director who did uh the, the Wolverine, and he also did um two other great movies. Three ten. I think he did three ten to Yuma, and. Yeah. Uh, the movie about Johnny Cash, Walk the Line. Yeah. And this That's is centering cool. on and this is centering on Old Man Logan and it's rated R. That is Hell crazy. yes. I'm excited so, for it. Coming up next, Kong, Skull Island. That's another film I'm looking forward to. The Belko Experiment. I never heard of that. Yeah. Okay, you have to see the trailer for that. It looks real I found online on Facebook. I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna then I started watching it. I'm like, damn, oh, this movie's going to be good. It looks real. It's like a suspense mm-hmm. thriller kind of movie. It looks really good. Actually, you know what? That is true. <laughs> Joe Mako says, you know, Matt Damon actually did that voice for the Matt Damon character in Team America. Yeah, 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 he did. Oh, See, Matt Damon's, a, Matt Damon's a team player. He actually yeah, yeah. He's, no, yeah, he, he's a good sport. He's fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, two more. Two more. The Power Rangers movie. Oh, uh, where's the... Which is exciting stuff right there. Continue on. And he's twisting his... He's stroking his mushroom tip. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm with him on that, dude. That was a staple of my childhood. Yeah, See, it's my child as well. Continue on. With me, I just never got into him. And I was wrong right after the age where it's perfect. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. The Belko experiment. Isn't that from the director of The Darkness? Oh, no. Really? If it is, I'm not watching it. Because after I saw Wolf Creek, I, I vowed to never watch a movie involving him. Wow, I, I did not know that, actually. If it yeah. is, I'm, it's doomed. But as you were, uh, Anyway, before I get into that, I'm going to answer Leah's question real quick. How much did, how much, like, how much Sing was such a great movie? And I don't know why people didn't like it as much as, like, everybody I did. I love the soundtrack in this movie. The soundtrack was unbelievable. Especially having Taryn Edgerton sing the cover of Elton John's song, the I'm Still Standing. <laughs> Morphine Time. Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah. Scarlett Johansson was awesome. Throwing her own original song, Set It Free. You had 
to girl Tori Kelly sing Hallelujah and another song um really good. Matthew McConaughey was a really good character too. Like this was a great movie. It was the best movie that Elimination's ever done. Okay. It was my number eleven, unfortunately. It did not make my top ten because of Patriots Day. Sammy yeah. said it is from the director of The Darkness and Wolf Creek. Fuck. But it's written by James Gunn. So that 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 gives me hope. That gives me hope. But you know what James Gunn also wrote? Scooby Doo. Um, Man. But he, I think he even said that. Well, no, it wasn't his fault because they, even he said, dude, the studios and everything, they took my script and they just put, and they just transformed it and executed it in a way I did not want. Even he said that, so. Wow. Yeah, so I have no hope for that movie because fuck that director. Ever since I saw Wolf Creek, I was done. All right. But anyway, though, continuing on, I have the last movie of March, Ghost in a Shell. Get me! Uh, (laughs) <laughs> sorry sorry anyways okay, Shane, he's, he's like I can't wait if you don't like it I don't give a shit <laughs> Charles Johansson Man. baby Woo! for me it's well okay there's a reason why I'm excited alright like I said I am hope, hopefully uh, optimistic about this due to the fact that you know I've still yet to see a live action adaptation of an anime before right that has actually been good now, I I don't think there has been. Yeah, not, I've not seen one yet. Uh, I was hoping that Attack on Titan would break it. It did not, and in fact, was a lot less than what I had hoped for, and ultimately disappointed me to no end. Now, anybody who knows me, I am a huge cyberpunk fan, and oh, Ghost in the yeah. Shell, Ghost in the Shell was a is an excellent story about that, and um, the anime too was fucking brilliant, and. Yeah. The thing is, though, is that, you know, I, yeah, it's live adaptation in Scarlett Johansson, but the thing oh. is, the J- Japanese fans, including some of the um, people who worked on it, said that they were actually very impressed. So. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, yeah, Justin Williams says, dude, I was thinking the same thing. Cough, Dragon Ball Evolution. That's probably the worst one. Easy. It's probably, mm-hmm. probably so. is, dude. That movie is fucking garbage. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. In April, I got a good... I only got two films in April, actually. The Fate of the Furious. Oh, you know what? After I saw the trailer, dude, I was like, I want to see this shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That trailer looked awesome. What was this one? The Fate, the Fate of the Furious, the brand new movie. Oh, and okay. It looked, dude, that sequence with the submarine comes out and they launch those fucking trucks like 50 feet in the air. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sam Cougar says, what about Beauty and the Beast? I'm uh, Oh you little dirty cock It's uh, I'll give it a shot but you get, out of here. You get out of here Get out of here Get out of here I'm hosting now It's my I'm hosting I'm taking over get out of here. <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not really into it I saw it true I wasn't that impressed LC fuck LC fuck nuts You get out of here I'm sorry Man. I'm sorry. I'll give it a shot. I'll see if I get a screen to it. Dude, but I'm not Disney, that Disney's live adaptations has been fucking stellar. Jungle Book, I will say, was. That's the main reason I focused yeah. on Cinderella? Uh, Cinderella, you got Snow White, and I know I Mel. I never saw Cinderella, unfortunately. I did not have a chance to see oh, it. Oh, I love Cinderella. That was one of my favorite films that year. And I know I, that movie's polarizing, but I actually really like Maleficent. But Maleficent's <laughs> wow. Yeah, I agree. Get to you on. Oh, yeah, okay, as you were. All right, next up is The Circle, which is the new Tom Hanks movie. Which wow. And I think it's Tom Hanks and Emma Watson. It looks pretty good. It's like where the cybernetic company tries to get and quote, all this new program with keeps an eye on people. It's a really interesting story. I really do like it. And Tom Hanks plays the villain a little bit. Like, wow. Wait, what do you mean a little bit? You like play, he's like you play a villain or you he's don't. One of those tech gurus is like, oh, I want to do the, like have like a huge plan for a couple. I want to have this huge plan. I want to see how it works. I mean, he has like a secret plan. Like that's what I got with the vibe in the trailer, though. Yeah, it does I look was, really good. I was on the movie too. I was fine on people except they called me the Brown Circle. Man, <laughs> oh, I I don't even know want to know why they call you that. I don't know either. Well, Kirby didn't do a shop right. He forgot the prediction. <laughs> Man. No, that's BB. Kirby, Kirby that's didn't even do that. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he is not doing anything. Man. 
He's like, no, guys, no, BB-8, he has that flamethrower torch, and he burns off all the bad stuff. I was gonna say, like, does he have, like, a bleach compartment in there somewhere? <laughs> I don't know. He's the thumbs up at the end. Oh, Man. Uh, <laughs> all right, continuing on. The May. <laughs> continuing on the May, I got three movie, uh, three movies. One of them I'm a little interested to see because it did take place in my old college town, Booker It's Phone. So we'll get that in just a bit. But well, uh, what about Wonder Woman? That's uh, in June. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that came out earlier. It's going to be coming up drunk, you... I thought it was earlier! <laughs> I thought it came out more God damn it. You dingus. Man. You dingus. Anyway, let me continue on. I'm in May now. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yes. Yes. That is highly among my list. Yes, yeah. give it to me. <laughs> me too, man. Next up, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales. I'm okay. curious. Yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. Who's directing this movie? Um, let me, I actually don't know that one. Hold on, give me a second. Because uh, the fourth one was way better than the second. And especially that third. The fourth one was definitely interesting to say. That wow. third movie was fucking horrific. That was all my... Was... Well, all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies are just awesome, in my opinion. Let's continue on. That was on my, that was on my, near yeah, the... Harvey Bar definitely think the villain in this one. Yeah, he is the villain. Harvey Bar Dem's the villain, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I love that already. It is Joaquin Renning. Joaquin Renning. He did... He didn't do anything big. That's not foreign. He did one film called Max Maximus Man of War, but never heard of it. He also okay. have... There's Joaquin Renning and also Espen, Espen Sandberg. As well. Wait a minute. Espen who? Wait, is there... Okay, I thought I heard feedback. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, uh, Lucas. All right, next up after that, Tires of the Caribbean, Del Motels. The one movie that's taking place in my old college town, Boca Raton, Florida, Baywatch. Wow. Okay. The, okay, I want to say something about this. Now, this is from director Seth Rogen. He's like a mixed bag for me because he made two movies I fucking love. I mean, love. The King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters, is my favorite documentary of all time. I love that documentary. And he also did Horrible Bosses, one of my favorite comedies of the decade. Man. And then he did two of the very worst. And that, of course, uh, Seth, Seth Gordon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and that is Four Christmases, which is one of the worst Christmas movies, and one of the worst comedies, Identity Thief. Oh. Oh, so I am not sure... <laughs> Which Seth Rogen is going to show up? That's what I'm a bit wondering about too. So man, next up, 50 on this. Oh my God, see, Akura said the same thing. <laughs> oh nice. Next up is now the month of June. Now we get to talk about Wonder Woman, Jerome. Jesus. Sorry. You're Look, done. Okay. Oh. I'm about to hold. I'm gonna hold an extended, uh, you know, class session for you. <laughs> Look at Gawie. Oh, you dumb. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, yeah. we still love you. Yeah, that is true. All so, right, next up, after Wonder Woman, Despicable Me 3. And wow. I The only reason oh, I want to look forward to it because of Trey Parker. The only reason yeah, I want to see it is because of Trey Parker. Uh, oh, okay, I, I mentioned this earlier before before the show to Lucas. When we were yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. uh, I said that uh, that's fine, and I, I agree with it somewhat. But I think if you're looking forward to a film just for, like, one character, I think it's sort of missing the point. So, got a good point there. I feel. Now, you know, not everyone's going to feel the same. And I don't expect them to. Still. But, you know. I, I feel I feel that if, if it's just one character, then it's like, what's kind of the point? What about the rest of them? Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. That's a good point there. Next up, we go into July. We got the first part of July is Spider-Man Homecoming. Hell yeah. I've been saw this movie. It was so awesome. Continue on. So looking forward to this. It's going to yep, be I am awesome. Too. Mm -hmm. Or July. That comes before or after August. It comes before August. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh... <laughs> Next up, War of Planet of the Apes. Hell yes. yes. That is close. It's Matt Reeves returning back who did um, Dawn. Uh, fuck, I can't wait for it. I love the trailer. 
And I can Woody Harrelson as the villain or antagonist. Hell yeah, I'm sold. Still. And it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for it. Next up, we got Dunkirk. That is my most anticipated film of the year. It is going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. So, cannot wait for it. Then we got, after that, The Dark Tower, which is getting a lot of early buzz right now. Wow. Why is The Dark Tower? I've it heard is, of it. It's based off Stephen King's new adaptation. Oh, that's right. Books. Yeah, that's right. He made a book called The Dark Tower. That's right. Wow. Let me see what the, who the movie stars and who the director is. Because that was, as I've been hearing how good this oh, I just elbowed oh, Matthew McConaughey star in this movie. Oh, the director, a new director, Nicolaj Arcel, who, okay, he's done a lot of foreign films. Oh, he actually, did, oh, he did Girl of the Dragon Tattoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the, the, which, wait, no, the, the, the original, the original version, because he didn't do the American. American was David Fincher. Wow. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, the original one, but yeah, he, that is, it's gonna be good. I'm excited for The Dark Tower. Wow. Next up, <laughs> Lego Ninjago movie. Eh. Yeah. Dude, yeah, okay, so let me, let me Jago movie. It's fucking trash. So let me explain let me explain no. the reason being. <laughs> it's not trash for me in my opinion. Let's put T1. Alright. I because it, it's probably going to be based off the the show that was on uh Cartoon Network. And the thing is, is that that's already garbage enough as it is. That's a it, it's a really shitty show. Let me just put it that way. It, uh, it, it's really no. meant for kids, but I caught a glimpse of it while I was—I think I was sick one day and I was flipping through TV channels, I think. And I, I saw it. This was, was like a long time ago, and I'm like, "Fuck, is this crap, dude? This is, I don't like. Oh, I'm not a fan. I, I I don't expect it to be good, but you know, it'll probably be good. I respect your opinion, but for me, I really love this movie. Continue on. The uh, for the kids. So, oh yeah, that, I will. I will say that could be good, but we'll see. Eh, um, I'm not counting on it. Next up in September, we got. Oh yeah, that was a September movie, so I forgot to mention. I really don't have anything big for August. That I'm looking forward to. Hmm. In September, though, the la- only other one in September I'm looking forward to: Blade Runner 2049. Oh no! Oh, fuck me. What, you're not I'll give it a shot. I'll see what. No, and I, I, I no, and I'll tell you why. Hmm. Dennis Villa, uh, Dennis V is directing. Who? I like him, man. I'm sorry. I like him. He bores the everlasting fuck out of me. Not with Prisoners, though? That's the only... Dude, I couldn't believe the same thing that Prisoners did fucking suck, suck Cario. I don't know about this dude. <laughs> I don't get it. It's, it's like two different guys. Because Prisoners is fucking incredible. That's really weird, you know? Yeah. Now we move on to October, which we got. Starting out, the, the next one is... Um, yes, I do. I do hate the original Blade Runner. Go ahead. October starring, so we start off with Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Oh, yeah, baby. I am very excited for this one. And then next up, after that, we have the film called The Snowman, which is a, <coughs> sorry, a mystery and suspense film calling... It's starring um, working titles production from the World War C screenwriter Matthew Michael Carnahan. And it's starring Rebecca Ferguson, Michael Fassbender, and Charlie Gainsborough. But Michael, it's like a detective kind of movie. And I, I saw like an early pics from it. It does look pretty cool. Neat. So if you guys did not know about that one, that's that is not it's your knowledge of it. Next up, we got Thor. Like, now we got November with starting off with Thor Ragnarok. Okay, I am really looking forward to that because Doctor Strange and, of course, The Incredible Hulk is going to be there. Yes, Absolutely. Yeah. And you have the director from What We Do in the Shadows, which I, I think that... I think and it's going to be a hell of a lot better than, I hope Double Nine's listening, Thor the Dark Turd. I hate that movie. It's the Lord. Uh, Bits and Pieces are going to love this movie. Bits and Pieces hate it for me. Continue on. Hey. Marvel movie. It's the uh, okay, movie. this is what I have to say about the movie. The movie absolutely fucking sucked ball sack until Loki showed up. When Loki showed up, that's when it was awesome. Funny how that works. Funny how that works. Mm-hmm. Next up, Paddington 2. Really? That's, okay, the first one I thought was so fucking overpraised. It wasn't even funny. I really liked the first one. 
It was definitely an honorable mention. I think I made it to my honorable mentions a lot. Like, I think it was 2015. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, though. We'll see what happens. I really liked it, though. Then after that, I will. here's the thing, though, with this next movie. I'm going to give this movie a shot. I don't think it'll be good, though. Okay. Justice League. Justice League? I'll give it a shot, but I think, uh, I think... I think it's safe to say we're all willing to give it a shot, but we don't have high expectations. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I see... Here's, here's the thing about me when it comes to films. I don't put my expectations very high on anything. If, if I can be completely fair, that sounds really cynical in a sense, but, like, it, it helps. Trust me, it helps. Exactly. Because when, if something, if, I, if I'm seeing something, and, like, there's a few exceptions, like Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I have a good feeling it's going to be really good, and I'm going to love it. But everything else, I'm just like, okay, it, it's whatever. You know what? It's whatever. But... If it exceeds my expectations, which more than likely it'll do, I'll be like, oh, wow, it was actually really good. But then if it sucked, I'm like, eh, well, whatever. You know, that's just that's just me. But yeah. like, I kind of implore everyone else to do so. All right, next up, the Disney, the t- Pixar's second animated film of 2016, Coco. Um, I have no uh, idea. 2017, you mean. And Coco would be awesome, in my opinion. Continue on. Yeah, on the movie in itself. But I am looking forward to it because, you know, Pixar... Uh, Pixar has been doing quite well recently. Wow. And it, I think from what I've been reading about the early scripts of it, it's based off of the Dia, Dia de los Muertos, the... Dead, the dead. Dead. That could be interesting. It could be interesting. And then finally we move into the last... Oh, movie. wait. Oh, Christine? Oh, come on. Oh, Christine's leaving? Oh. Oh, why is that? I don't... I don't know. Uh-huh. The rest of my sad... Um, um, can I... Before I do this, I just want to say this before I, I forget. Aaliyah asked me about something here. Let me... Let me scan the uh, comment section real quick. She was asking me about um, a movie. Uh, quick question. Have you seen Tekken 2010, the live action film? Also Tekken 2, Kazuya's Revenge. God, that movie was awful in Tekken Blood Vengeance. Uh, best CGI movie. Go watch it, Chain. Um, I haven't seen Blood Vengeance. Um, the live action, uh, 2010 film, I heard, uh, didn't do so well, but I believe it was better than, um, that awful Street Fighter movie with Chun-Li. Oh. Um... I haven't heard anything else though. Like, uh, I'll take a look at it. I'll see what's what's up. Cause oh, Resident Evil Vendetta. I don't know too much about that movie, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know too much about it either. And um, I, I'll, I'll if it's it since it's a CGI Resident Evil movie, I'm willing to definitely give it a shot because with the yeah, live action, yeah, the live ready. action, I will never touch ever. Still. Yep. I'm not looking forward to the final chapter. That's gonna be awful. Uh, bits and pieces for me. Bits and pieces for me, but not for me. Worse. Continue on. Then finally, the last month of the year, December, got three films: Star Wars Episode Eight. That's completely obvious. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That was a car outside. Then Ferdinand, which I've heard pretty decent things about. It could be good. We'll see. And Jumanji. Actually, looking forward to it. Yeah, get... thank God for the worst movie with Robert Williams. The second one will be better. The third one will be better coming up. Continue on. Give it a shot. Okay, we're giving it a shot. Okay. Yeah, mainly because of The Rock and Jack Black. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I, I, can, I, can, I can understand that. So. But here is one thing I do want to talk about real quick. Okay. 2016 in animation, I mean, 2016 animation was excellent. 2017 looks pretty bad. Mm. Oh, man. What's going to happen next 2016 animation? It looks awesome. Come on now, dude. Continue on. It doesn't look promising at all for 2017 animation because I was telling Shane about this earlier, a little bit about this earlier, Jerome. 2017 looks bad when it comes to animated films. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not too faithful in that. It needs to be good animation in 2017. Continue on. There was an article I was reading about where there was a guy saying this could be the worst year for animated films since 2011. No. Yeah, where did Jerome go? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay, good, okay. Yeah, because like, for example, usually I have to give quips when I talk, and it's like you're you're being yeah, very quiet. Well, like, it's oh, Jesus Christ. 
It's an ongoing situation, I imagine, right? I can't discuss it, but it's going ahead. I understand. I understand. But now we get, like, Jerome, I'm going to talk to you about some of the animated films that are coming out this year. And some of them do not look good at all. Yeah. There's a movie starting out. We have a movie called Animal Crackers. Which is awesome. Yes. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, Jerome. It sounds as bad as you're thinking. It's, saying. it's pretty much a movie starring it, Emily Blunt, Sylvester Sloan, Danny Benito, Patrick Warburton, um, Raven Simone. And the main the premise is that it follows this um it follows this family around who they inherit a run rundown circus and inherit a box of animal crackers that makes them turn into the animal crackers that they eat. Oh my god! It sounds really like kind of bizarre and stupid. trippy. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say stupid, but like I don't know. I I, I wouldn't say downright stupid. I just think it might be a bit nonsensical if you ask me. It is. Then you also have one of my most least anticipated movies of the entire year, The Boss Baby. Al Baldwin's new animated movie. Uh, okay. Boss Baby's awesome. I right hear. Oh, that looks so bad. Another movie that's coming out called Blazing Samurai. Really? I did not know that. I'll give that a shot. Which is starring Michael Sarah, Samuel L. Jackson, and Mel Brooks. <laughs> Wow. And it's about a scrappy young dog who dreams of becoming a samurai and fights to save a town called Kamachmucho from becoming a litter boss with a nefarious feline warlord, Ika Chu. <laughs> that sounds yes. awfully uh, <laughs> familiar to something. Yes, it does. Mm. I am not looking forward to that at all. Oh my god. I am looking forward Next to Next up for 2017 animated films, you got the oh yeah, the boss baby, you have Captain Underpants. Good! Captain Underpants! Love the movie! Yeah, I'm oh, I, fuck. I, I, yeah. I like the kid I like the books as a kid. But Love the books as well, especially the movie. Continue on. I'm not like I don't know, I'm I'm not I'm not too. Uh, give me, give me a second. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Sure. Then you also have one of the worst movies coming out next year, Cars Three. Really? I love Cars Three. Come on now. Yeah. Oh. Not, not a fan. Then my least anticipated movie of all 2017. <sighs> Do not say the emoji movie. Emoji movie. It's awesome. Continue on. See that I uh, we've hit the apex of bullshit here with that. Yes. Like how how do you even come up with a premise for that film? What what is it? I going? have no. Do do they even explain what it was going to be about? Okay, let me go up and look the summary. Yeah, because I I can't imagine. Uh. Okay, here's the synopsis from Wikipedia. The, the film will center on Gene, a multi-expressional emoji, as he sets out on a journey to become a normal emoji. Which is That's awesome. That's so fucking stupid! Yeah. It's not even stupid! Assholes, I love the movie. Can you get up with it? See you on. <laughs> so, he, so he's unique, but wants to be ordinary? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. That's yes. stupid. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't get the fuck out of here. You don't fuck with the Emoji Movie. Get to you are. That's stupid. That's dumb. I, 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 I lost all faith in that movie. Uh-uh. You don't lost faith. And you don't fuck with the Emoji Movie. Get to you are. Oh, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty dumb, dude. It is pretty dumb. No, it's not dumb. you also have My Little Pony, a movie. Yes! Can't care for it. Let's move Tell on. Tell me! <laughs> Love the movie. Continue on. I wouldn't go that far. Just, I don't care. I don't want to see that movie. I've seen the show. It's awful. I couldn't stand. I love the sh uh, 
I love the show. It's so awesome. Uh, bits and pieces. But it's awesome! Come on! Where's your movie spirit? Continue on. I miss that show. Mm. Then next, The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature. Why is there a second one? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. It makes me cry at night. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh. Resident Evil Vendetta, I will see. I will give it a shot. Then you have Smurfs the Lost Village. Nah. Um, Why? There was no need. Good job, Smurfs. There is... Uh, there was never a need, so what the shit? I don't know. Then you have so the one you're I told you about Shane, you're not looking forward to it at all. Right. Sword Art Online, the Ordinal Scale. I love the movie. Come on. Yeah, it's fuck me with a cactus and rather I'd rather do that instead of watch Sword Art. I'm sorry. I, I I seriously hate Sword Art. I really do. Because it took away uh the great premise that Dot Hack was. And not only that, shoved down the uh, the freaking relationship uh, fucking romance story down your fucking throat at that point. And it completely forgot what its main intention was. It did. Honestly. So, it, it's, it's shit. No, it's not. So. But yeah, that's pretty much all my main things. 2017 is not looking forward to being a good year for animated films. It's a good thing. Continue on. Uh, I am I am very much not looking forward to 2017 at all for animated films. You are looking forward to it. Gig Life. As for LHBM, looking forward for the anniversary of the company. That happened two years ago. But as for shit like this, fuck it. I love the movies. Continue on. It is going to be a long year for animated yeah. films. Well, a long year for this shit. Well, think again. You don't you don't have time for it. Continue on. Yes. And I can honestly agree with the writer though. It could be the worst year for animated films since twenty since twenty eleven. Fuck it. Um, no Disney film was nominated that year. That's true. Not um. Also, may I mention this before? I, for, I almost forgot about it, and I feel really bad. I feel bad for uh, if I did this to Ethan because he asked me a question. He asked me what are my most anticipated games of 2017. Um, let me see because I know there's one I'm looking forward to, but I, I there is no definitive release date for it, and that's Cyberpunk 2077, um, made by CD Projekt Red, the guys who did the Witcher series. So everyone knows how good those are. Um. So, oh. Scalebound is one of those games coming out in 2017. Wow. Oh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I want it. Really want it badly. Um, I think it's also coming out in 2017, but Injustice 2. Ooh. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, Scalebound. Scalebound's coming out next year. Good. Or this year. Good, good, good. Um, For Honor, if you guys never heard of that one uh, before. Uh, oh, yeah. What about yeah. for the Nintendo Switch chain? What was Zelda, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's uh... Still, Nintendo Switch would be awesome now that it came out with the light version, which it's amazing, you know? Though, I really say this, okay? I really love the Switch, and I really have, I have the console in my house, and I really want to do Switch Series again with you guys. So it's great. Let's continue on. I definitely want to get into that. It's just, um, it's going to be tough to, um, uh, kind of get into it because I have to save money up for a new system. So I'm kind of like, eh. Wait, is Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out next, uh, this year? Draw. I think it is. Oh, it's Mike's muted. It's Mike's muted. Yeah. Um, I think it is. I think so. If it's, if that's the case, then yes. Absolutely Yes. Still. See, um, anything else? Um, I think 
the that new prey is coming out that game prey wow oh yeah um, oh kingdom hearts uh 2.8 oh coming yeah out. It'll coming out in the next like two weeks i think really? wow yeah yeah very soon um you got all the ps4 which I'm actually considering getting if it's. I I, I I think it's worth it, dude. I've been playing because this. I want to get Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Ran- the new Crash. Ban- I want to get Crash. Yeah, that was a, that was another thing I was about to mention. Yes, that- yes, I want to get Crash Bandicoot so badly. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, Crash Bandicoot. Hell yeah, man. Uh, other than that, I think that's really all the games I'm looking forward to this year. Wow. All right, so, Shane, do you have any other big topics you want to go into right now? Yes, absolutely. Because I talked a lot, so I'm going to take a break and play some more Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hang on a second. I got something that uh, recently had come to light. I forgot there was this thing going on called the Final Fantasy XIV Tokyo Fan Festival. Uh, essentially it's like a, um, it's an organized event by Square Enix where they go ahead and, you know, they do a, um, a little thing for, uh, Final Fantasy 14, which is honestly, like, it was the game that Square Enix needed after Final Fantasy 13 came out because, um, I don't know. I, oh, no. I really think that 13 had a chance to be good. It just really missed the mark i didn't wouldn't say it's downright terrible it's just it was missing the entire point of a final fantasy game so when 14 came out uh a realm reborn that is not the not the first time it came around the first time it came around was so bad that a um a japanese um stockholder who had about like 20 million not 20 million, uh two million uh dollar u.s dollars worth of stock in square enix bailed out really that, yeah it was that bad um and I actually been playing Realm Reborn, and I fucking love it. Oh, wow. Anyways, they announced a, a uh, expansion for the game called Stormblood, and it looked like it was going to center around the monk class because it was a bunch of fist fighting, and it was really cool and cinematic looking. And I was like, oh, cool. Then they announced the new uh, class, the Red Mage. Man, ooh, I think this is probably one of the best things they got going for them right now. This class looks fucking awesome. Still, uh, let's see. Essentially, what a red mage is is that they are a DPS role. They uh, they do damage. They have a sword in one hand and like a magic crystal in the other hand, and they can actually combine it into two to turn from a sword to a staff, and then vice versa. What? Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, Still. they're all about casting uh, magic while also doing uh, sword skills, and they're stylish as hell, dude. Oh my god. Um, let's see. Besides the Red Mage, which is the most anticipated part for me of Sto- um, Stormblood that I'm looking forward to, is, uh, let's see, we got mm-hmm. swimming and diving. There's going to be a new gameplay mechanic that'll um, allow people to enter, like, seas and rivers and such like that. Um, there's going to be new beast, a uh, new beast tribe and a primal. A primal is, ba- you know, like the summons from Final Fantasy? Yeah. Are, in wow. this game, they're known as primals, and they're actually boss battles. Oh! Okay. Yeah, um, let's see, the primal is locked. Uh, Lakshmi. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. It's, I'm dealing with a, a personal matter right now. That's wow. Fine. I, I talk about the the worst time, so yeah. No, no, no. Oh my god, it's fucking just terrible. All right, go ahead. As you are, are, are we are we good right now? <sighs> yeah, we're okay. Okay. Let's see. There's going to be um, a new high level raid called the Bend of Time. Um, it's a Bend of Time Omega. Um, it was announced as a high-level raid series for Stormblood. Our Omega has surfaced within the main scenario in the past, but this menace will soon appear in full force, yada yada. Okay, now they got yeah. another uh, raid, the Alliance Raid. It's called um, Return to Evalus. Okay. Um, that's the world for uh, Final Fantasy XII and Tactics. Really? And, yeah. So wow. Now, I wasn't necessarily a particular fan of Twelve. I thought it was pretty okay. But I love the world. I love the world that it had. Um, and it, it was just mm, good. Liked it. Man. And that's really the main points of um, uh, Stormblood as of right now. We don't know anything else. So Man. I'm looking forward to the Red Page, though. Red Page is awesome. Um, now that somebody mentioned this, I might as well go ahead and talk about it. Um, next thing I had in mind. Uh, Terry Crews just paid a, uh, paid a visit to Blizzard. 
man. Now, there's been talk about him. You know, he expressed interest in voicing in video games. He, uh, he's getting into video games now. Man. And uh, he expressed interest in Overwatch for a while. And people are now believing that he'll uh, voice the um, anticipated character of Doomfist. Um, I don't know who Doomfist exactly is. I haven't looked into the lore of the game yet, but um, it's a guy with a really big fist, essentially. So, awesome. uh, so he paid a visit to Blizzard. Um, let's see. He said, loved my visit with the geniuses at Blizzard Entertainment today and meeting the creators of one of my favorite games over a watch. Um, Man. And he ended off saying, let's go. And where people people are intrigued, so people are wondering if he'll um, if he'll play the character Doomfist. Um, exactly, pretty awesome. I think Doomfist isn't a singular person. Um, yeah. I think Doomfist was a title. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's a badass with a massive deadly gauntlet. Um, Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's um. What? The... Oh my god. I don't know what I hate it when ads play shit in the um in the website. Honestly, like, that is the yeah, one. yeah, they were they were uh, trying to play something that was related to the Terry Crews thing. But anyways, I think Doomfist is a um, a character that uh, is a title, and there was two people beforehand that took up the mantle of Doomfist. Uh, one known as the Savior, and the other one the Scourge. And now we have the successor, which is the character that should be Doomfist now, which people are thinking Terry Crews is going to voice. And if that's the case, oh, dude, I can't wait. That's going to be great. Wow. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, man. Um, let me see. There was something. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just ba- uh, get my topics out of the way real quick, by the way. So I'm going to. Yeah, knock let's these. Do that. I'm, I'm going to knock these. Okay, so. Everyone knows that I have a gigantic, massive erection for uh, Let It Die. Yes, wow. you do. Mm-hmm. Let It Die. And Jerome, thank you, Jerome, for going ahead and finding this for me. Let It Die mm-hmm. had passed oh, a yeah, million. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Let It Die had passed a million downloads now. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Um, it's only been out for about a month now, I believe. Uh, at least near a month. And it's, like I mentioned, it's a lot like Dark Souls, except it's free to play. It's Pretty interesting, yada yada. Pretty cool stuff. Um, now let's see. Let's see if the fellow since uh, yeah, since its release in De- uh, December third. Uh, oh yeah, de- it's yeah, definitely a month now. Okay. Um, let's see. They're doing daily login bonuses for this uh, coming January sixth to um. January 8th, where you can get two free death medals. Wow. Uh, those are always welcome. Um, just, you know, it's a really, uh, it's just a really small thing they're doing right now, but um, Still. as I mentioned, I, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this actually now that I think about it, um, in the ending, I haven't seen the ending so far for Let It Die, but what I'm hearing is that it's not the actual end. There's going to be more to it. Wow. So, yeah, right now, as of right now, I'm currently on floor 31 out of 41. So I got another 10 to go. Wow. And then I can beat the game. Um, wow. It's fucking hard. Oh, it makes me want to cry. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that um, Grasshopper Manufacturer, uh, Suda51's company, has actually um, done very well with this so far. I wait. I am eagerly awaiting to hear what other um, additions that they're going to do for the game. Mm. I, re- I really want to um, hear more. Um. Okay, so I'm... Oh, no! Oh, God damn it. Okay, you know what? Shane did mention something like he he hopes to God that, um... He hoped to God that he doesn't have any trouble before, and it, I bet you that's exactly what it is. The God son of a... The son of a bitch. Hold on, sure. folks. We'll try to get him back. Um... Sure. In the meantime, let's fill in that gap. And as a gap, I mean Lucas's massive butthole. Fuck off. Oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, yeah, see? Hang on, having internet issues. And, and Sebastian I says, hey, sh- <laughs> hey sugar tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. So what topics do you have? Because I've pretty much gone through a lot of my topics already. Okay, um, I just want to talk about the some of the latest updates in the network and so forth. Um, earlier today, yeah, even Shane says, um, figure it would do something like this. I did 
um, a video with Kevin Falk. Wow. Ooh. You're probably thinking, really? You mean the guy with Dirty Grandpa and uh, you just fucking hated anybody? Who hate? Yeah. Okay. Now, in case you don't realize, I did a video with Sorry. Double Nine. Oh, okay. I was just... Oh, did you want me to pause right here? And let oh, the... no, no. You can go ahead. Um, I only had one last topic to talk about, but go okay. on. Okay. Because um, on uh, you were there, Shane, on his Q and A, on yeah. Double Nine's Q and A, when I think Tanya asked, "What is the worst thing you've seen this year?" I'm like, "Oh fuck!" And I just lose my mind. At everyone, and uh, Twenty Two Tiger Dude said it was one of the absolute funniest fucking things he has ever witnessed in his life. You say he was laughing so hard that he was crying. Okay, oh, man. Um, that is awesome. And it was when I saw Kevin Falk in the live chat, but. <laughs> So, he asked me personally, he said, Jerome, I know you're really good when it comes to bashing and ranting on bad movies. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, and he personally asked me, I would love it if you would be my first host, or my first co-host, when I'm doing the monthly movie preview. And basically... And, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, hiccups. And then basically, I was just like, yeah, absolutely, you know, because he's like, dude, I know how good you are. So, and it's the month of January, the dumpy ground of Hollywood. Still. Mm. My, lots of shit movies, okay? And. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Off, off a fucking live action, toothless, who looks retarded, climbs into a truck, and makes it move like a monster truck. Man. I mentioned the dude, dude. because of, um, there's this one podcast I listen to, and it's a pretty good podcast called the Pizza Party Podcast. So, <laughs> 22 Tiger Tude was, um, on the channel, like, was hanging out with, um, Jim, who was one of the co hosts of the podcast, um, on the animation, but best of animation in 2016. It was a pretty awesome to watch that, but yeah, yeah, that's why I mentioned it because I thought that was funny. Dude, I want those drugs. That sounds pretty fucking good. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. So. Um, I see Cooler calls it Monster Fox. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, another video. Me, Alex, Double Nine, and we got together. You know, last year I had technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, technical difficulties, and basically, that's when they came in, and I was like, hey, let them come in this time. And it was near a four-hour show when we did the best and worst of everything involving film. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And I couldn't be fucking happy with the video. Even though it's that long, you can turn it on, no matter where it's at. I did the table of contents, and, oh my god, the show is so funny. It is so entertaining. Yeah. And this is really somewhat informative, and there's great chemistry. Lucas, Luke Nugman and I going back and forth. Luke <laughs> was, Nugman, come on, Jerome. <laughs> he, I'm like, I'm like, Luke Nugman, I'm like, shut the fuck up. He's like, no, you shut up. I'm like, shut up. You, know, you, you shut the fuck up. And we're going back and forth and shit. Man. It was pretty funny. Good shit, man. Especially towards the end when I go over the worst, and I lose my goddamn mind. Um, also, Gary made this video. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait till you see. Wait till you see. The, uh, oh no! Wait. Uh, wait till you see my reaction, which it will be uploaded in a Romy shenanigan video sometime in the future. He did the best of Lucas Volume One, and it was glorious. <laughs> Still, I'll get the reaction video about that pretty soon. But this part of my forum episode, I don't know when exactly what happened. We'll see what happens. Let's continue on. <laughs> I attest yeah. that. Because I've now become a living meme. <laughs> yeah. I had a good drink. Um, and last but not least, I believe this is tomorrow. Tomorrow, me, Mr. Garrison, the young yeah, assassin, and a special guest will be doing the most and least anticipated films of the year. Yeah, you're welcome, you asshole face. The most and least anticipated films of 2017. We'll have a special guest. I don't mm. want to spoil it who it is. Man, But let's agree. just say it'll be a hell of a show. So those are the latest you uh, network updates. 
And regards to that, I only have one other topic, but I'm going to let you guys talk because I think you guys know what it is, especially Lucas. <laughs> Still. <laughs> oh, it's going to be the funniest fucking thing ever. Still. <laughs> Funnier than my Python on the Holy Grail? Goddamn right. Still. So anyways, uh, the last thing I had before my internet decided to go ahead and take a shit was um, about this thing that um, Canadian police are proposing for as an unusual punishment for drunk drivers. Um, the Kensington Police Service has uh, surprised its citizens by announcing a decidedly unconventional new punishment for drunk driving. With the holiday season, appro- season approaching, which well, we're already here, but this is a bit of an older uh in order uh, article, uh, the department expects to see a rise in drivers getting behind the wheel after consuming alcohol at social events and staff parties. If so. they catch someone drinking and driving, there will now be an extra punishment on the rail of the ride to jail. Criminals will be forced to listen to Nickelback in the police cruiser. <laughs> man, <laughs> what that's the awesome. Fuck? Now, um, the department posted a picture of an unopened copy of Nickelback's Silver Side Up album and shared their hopes that they wouldn't be forced to open it this holiday season. That so, is man. Uh, you know what the ironic part is, too? is Nickelback's a uh, Canadian um, band. Hold on a second. Uh, I just want to say, look who's in the chat. Rachel? Is that football? Did you, no football! No, <laughs> I just the adorable kill Rachel Rach. If you don't know who Rachel, I call her Rachel Rach. That's Christine's, that's Christine's lovable, adorable young dog. Oh, that's where she's Hey, hello. And, oh, I like to call her uh, the adorable Amazon because uh-huh. she's only fourteen, and by the time she turns eighteen, she'll be able to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nice one. Yeah, she she's now I don't know how old she is now, but that's why she was here. Continue on. Yeah, it's good good to have you on then. Just, um, just like a lovely mother, Mama K, man, she's great. Rachel Rachel is awesome. So, uh, <laughs> go yeah. ahead. I had to give her a shot. I thought I was <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah, Sebastian's freaking out about the um the Nickelback. Don't worry, you so, live, dude. You're in, uh, you're where I used to be from, Vegas. You're fine. So, yeah. yeah, I'm surprised you'd be able to find any. I'm surprised you'd be finding, be able to find any nickels. You probably gamble them all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, still. So, let's see. Some outraged citizens have pushed back against the new punishment. One protested a Canadian police force three formation of a supposedly beloved Canadian band. Another claimed that he would attempt to be uh, arrested just to have the pleasure of listening to the album in the cruiser. Other commenters took a harsher stand against drunk driving, arguing the criminal should be subjugated to opera, disco, Justin Bieber, Millie Vanilli, and other polarizing musicians. Yeah. One pointed out that the punishment is especially ironic because Chad Kroger, the lead singer of Nickelback, was convicted of uh, driving under the influence of a traffic stop in 2006. Oh, God. No. <laughs> uh, and how to stay safe and Nickelback free this holiday season. Choose a designated driver, call a cab, use a public transit, call Uber. someone to pick you up, or get a hotel room. Hammer people, eh, safety, and be safe. So, that's uh, that's really all I've got for uh, topics besides the last uh, segment for tonight. Uh, she says, oh, Rachel, Rachel says, I'm surprised I can't kick your booty right now, Jeremy. You probably could, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, like, 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 okay, she's 14. She looks like she's ready to. She can buy lottery tickets. Man, <laughs> you can have a fake ID and she'd be like going into gambling. Oh, like, oh yeah, that's funny though, Pepsi Man. It's like a parody lyric where it's like, "Look at this around." Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. look at this photograph. Yeah. Oh, giraffes. Speaking of giraffes, um, think of this. Mm-hmm. Look at the Resident Evil Six logo. Yeah, yeah. That, it look. Yeah, it I does know. look like a giraffe. No, it looks like a deformed giraffe getting oral from a woman. It does, actually. It's yeah. Um, I heard this on, when it was on Spill.com, I almost lost it. Uh, I could pos- possibly get away from it. Yeah, you're right. You know why? Because you can run faster than me. I can't move my big ass that fast. <laughs> no, you can't, Jerome. You, you probably lose to Don Terry Poe in a... And a four-yard dash, that's for sure. You, I, I, can tell, I can tell you one thing. Speaking of 40-yard dash, Bruce Bliss was talking about how John Cena is such – he's a weight-room weight athlete. He's not a 
He's not an athlete in general, okay? And his 40-yard dash was like five-something. Oh, God. I he, can work back. It's four, and you know what? He he found this online, and when he tried to whip back to find <laughs> the stats again, they were gone. It was like the Bobber Streisand effect. That is mm, fun. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, boy, buckethead. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so, um... So, go ahead and tell everybody, you know, wait, hold on. Ironically, Utah took all away my nickels. Damn you, nickel, Cade, and your tiny toy soldiers. <laughs> oh, toy soldiers. That's my favorite movie. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shall look them like if I was with the army troop. <laughs> all right, so. I think it's time. Time. Yeah, didn't you say you were going to do something? Uh... Yeah. You got your thing? Yes. Okay, folks. Let me. Okay, I'm gonna. I won't be able to see the live chat. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how things are. Okay. So. Okay. Share. Sc- uh. Application window. Uh, oh man. <gasps> oh fuck. I'm sorry. Dying. Okay. Give me. A, give me a second here. I'm gonna get this set up. Okay. Dragoon Union. I hope no one doesn't text me while I'm uh, <laughs> when I'm doing Facebook because their text will show up. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. Well, do you have, are you screen sharing right now? Okay, I'm doing it right now. Can you see my screen? Hold on. Uh, give me a second. Uh, it's loading up. Hang on. Oh. There, there you go. Oh, of course, <laughs> Gary would say "fat fuck" right there. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah? Here, speaking of fat fuck, here, Gary. <laughs> Man. He looks like a blow-up dog that got fucked by a fish. <laughs> okay. So, when I was watching Lucas's Best and Worst, his lists are the ones... <laughs> What? Man. Sorry. (laughs) 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 You goddamn motherfuckers! I should not have said that. You shouldn't have. (laughs) 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 Squiggly shit face. Go! Go! Shut the fuck up! (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) <laughs> yes, no, I mean, cock you? ass Yeah, cock ass and pussy You know the problem is You got two of those, but you'll never get one of those <laughs> I think he's got more than you, Jerome Uh, are you sure about that? Because obviously he's never met My beauty Man <laughs> My beauty is fine, like red wine And curves are perfectly defined Ooh nah. Nah. <laughs> Okay here are some of the photos I take. Hey, your, your nipples are hard? What? Yeah, your fucking salami sausage nipples. You fuck me. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Here's some of the photos I took, and here we go. Uh, th- Alex, this live chat? It's this like live Alex chat. one. Oh, okay. This, I took this one. This is during our... Okay, look at... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Man. Uh, does the chat see it? I would, uh, hang on. Well, it takes like 10, 15 seconds. But yeah, they should be seeing it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I took, I took, I'm sorry, Alex. You look really constipated, man. He, he, well, he, was, making that, he was making that face to make me like, ugh. Oh, okay. right, right. <laughs> okay, here we go. I took this photo, and it looks like Lucas is, is like, ooh. He's like seeing a hot... Oh, like, I was going to say. <laughs> if you man. Had to that, it would be... Um, <laughs> maybe it's ma- maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> oh my god! I cannot, he's looking at that. He's like, I cannot believe it's not butter either. <laughs> Dude, you know how I got the screenshot? I paused Dude. it. I unintentionally paused it to look up something, and I went back to it. It paused it on this frame. Man. Okay, you know what? You know I'm not. I'm. Oh my god, Gary! Would you fuck off? <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm going. I'm going to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm gonna be honest about something. This is like one of Lucas's most photogenic fucking f- pictures I've ever seen. 
Oh, speaking of photogenic, he looks like a cartoon character. Well, yeah, I, I, wait, I, I mentioned that earlier when I was at work because I was fucking dying. Still. Yeah, hey, Gary, shut that phone up your butt. Okay, here we go. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dog, that's some good shit, man. Okay. Um, All you oh had to God, do was go. follow the damn train scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> 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 Damn it. Shay, Shay, do you see it? Hold on. <laughs> Man. Oh my god, who's fucking messy? Wait. Is it Gary again? Wait, the, m- massage the prostate. Fuck off, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're such a. Okay, um. <laughs> okay, that one's that one's this, and then I skipped it a few frames, and I went to. Okay, here's another good one. <laughs> that's a good one too uh, you can tell i screen shared it because you know it says lucas best and all there's the time or the the, the time bar down there um okay hey you <laughs> yeah pay me that's right you got any drugs on you <laughs> uh okay wait oh okay here's a good one <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, oh, go back. Go back. What? Go back. Go back one. What? That that one, I love that one. You wanna know why? Hmm? That fucking screams JoJo, but except retarded. <laughs> Still. Screams <laughs> JoJo. It's dead serious. What is it? I love that one. Dio. <laughs> Dio. <laughs> Lucas. Lucas. He looks like JoJo, even though he's got brains like a dodo. <laughs> man. God damn it, you <laughs> Okay, no, um, these are great, man. These are gold. Okay, what is this one here? Oh, no, that one's not that good. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> man. No, I got a, man, these are frame perfect, too. <laughs> okay, what's the... Uh, uh, Whoa. <laughs> oh, there's oh that reminds me. Okay, when he was doing his uh worst stuff. Okay, yeah, there's Luke Newcomb. I took a couple pictures of him. Uh oh god, where the hell is it? He was going over fifty shades of black. Yeah. Oh, where the hell is it? Is he sure is it the one where he has his hands up on his face? Because that was the Gary, one I think. You fucking a- asshole. <laughs> 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 I can't call you because I'm already on a call, you you, you did call. Okay. There, okay, this is the picture that's arguably the best. Okay? There Are you is sure di- about that? One of them. Oh, come on. Okay, there's this one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the main main page. For no, 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 thing. no. That's not it. It's this one. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I had a cop to this perfectly framed. <laughs> You know what he looks like? Hey, man. Gary just said, hey, man, I've just been sitting here watching the show. Man, the fuck you are. Okay, Lucas looks Stop. like... He looks like the, the Frankenstein monster seeing Brian Frankenstein naked for the first time. <laughs> man! Oh, uh, wait. God damn it, Shane! <laughs> what is this? What are you supposed to be saying? What are you saying? Um, wait, okay. And then there's this one. <laughs> he's like... He's like, hmm, did I let the oven on? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, he's like, he's, he's, seeing, he's seeing this guy squat. He's like, hmm, nice buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not true. That's not true at all. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um oh yeah, and then there's this one. <laughs> okay, Gary made a meme of this. He yeah. looks like he's praising he's like he's praising Scar Joe's tits and ass like it's the holy grail. <laughs> yeah, he, man. He, 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 in a sense I wouldn't blame him if that was the case. Yeah, and yeah, I say that and look what the poster says. It says, let's go out with a bang. <laughs> yeah, look <laughs> as he's banging something. <laughs> Man, okay. also, that also could be him praying to Ben Roethlisberger as well too. He's got a, post, <laughs> he's got a, spot, a poster in his room. Ben Roethlisberger. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Yes, I do have a big Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, you are fucking Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie. You, you, Which I hate the show. Continue you on. Butthole. <laughs> and of course, he's got his. He's. Oh my. Wait. You son of a bitch! Would you quit fucking calling me? <laughs> <laughs> he's not starting to blow up my phone now. <laughs> 1-800-COLLECT. I hope every time you call, it costs you a shitload of money. All right. Okay, here's this one. <laughs> it does look like rash. Like... Okay, Lucas, there's so many times you're looking up at the ceiling. What the fuck was up at the ceiling? Were you seeing an old naked man? Austin like... didn't want me to look at the freaking the camera all the whole damn time. Well, what the fuck are you supposed to look at? I don't know. That's the whole point. So. Had Joe pulled out his pants to show his big hairy ball, that big hairy ass. No, 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 thank you. I'm good. I'm not gonna look at that. No. And if he if he did, you would probably make this face. <laughs> Man, no, not. that's for damn sure. Look, look, just why are you making all these faces? <laughs> Man, <laughs> ah, it's great though. It's it's wonderful. Um, oh no. I know there's more, uh, let me see, let me see, okay, there's, yeah, there's more photos down there, um, oh yeah, there's the one of Luke Nukin, look at this one. <laughs> Wait, what, what? Oh yeah, Luke I was, I was making that face like, and he was doing, he always, he makes the funniest fucking faces, I swear to God, and of course, oh yeah, <laughs> yep, that's the main picture. The Kirby, my face is on the both the guys. The only thing missing is BBA on this shoulder, like like the devil and the angel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here I'll show you a couple more. Um... <laughs> Man, <laughs> this is the one that starts me getting fucking kickles. Well, I took three photos. He puts his face on his. Head. There's this one, and then there's um, <laughs> this one's even funnier. <laughs> Yeah. Man, this, is, this, is, this one right here. This one was the one that made me start giggling at work. <laughs> oh this is the one where I started saying he looks like a fucking cartoon character. Man, so look at it. Dude, look at his face looks like a vagina. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. Bro, a roast beef sandwich. Um. Uh, Wait, did I show this? Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Here's another great one. I'll show you a couple more. And I'll call it. Mm -hmm. What, that one right there? Like, oh, he's just yelling at me. Yeah, um, that was pretty funny. Oh, what, this one right here? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. That's when him and I were going back and forth. That's frame perfect, too. I had to slow it down. Okay, this is one of my favorite yeah. ones. <laughs> what? <laughs> you look like you're trying to fucking sneeze. <laughs> today <laughs> no, it looks like he's really getting th getting caught in the middle of the sneeze like it's ready about to come out <laughs> he's like oh no start so i'm so done ah, ah. <laughs> man <laughs> oh my god i swear to god that's the fucking that's the fucking that's the fucking <laughs> man oh. too because he takes photos of me on skype and he makes perfect memes of him so all right there we go i hope it's not showing anymore on your end yeah you're good okay oh, you motherfucker okay what <laughs> okay okay you know what i'm gonna reshare this because you gotta see what the fuck what god damn you 
scary. <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, look what he put! Hang on. Yeah. Well, did you see... What you... Oh, did you see I what else it. I said, too? I, I posted uh, something there, too. Oh, here, you want me... Well, if I click here, everyone will see it. You want oh, me yeah, to... that's, that, that's fine, because nothing... Everyone's just going to see me slapping my face on the keyboard and shit, so... Okay, oh, okay, look at this. Okay, wieners, get the... Get the... <laughs> <laughs> Big booty. Uh, <laughs> a kunif stuff with this kind of shit with the is That'd be look because I'd be like, congratulations, you just said your first words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1 800 retards are us, Lucas. 1 800 big. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's not true. Because if I was a retard, I wouldn't be able to dial that in the first place. Or D R or get a degree. Derek got a degree. Uh, D Y E R G R E I Y. No, it's degree. D E G R E E. Degree. <laughs> degree um, for men. The... Oh, no, no, you spell it. Damn it. <laughs> okay, okay. James just. James. Okay, I better. <laughs> James, what? Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on. Uh... Hey, he already posted that in the. um the chat actually who james yeah oh he did oh okay yeah what's what's <laughs> i've heard that one before and it's still fucking oh, funny oh my god that fucking genius <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hey hey hold on lucas i got a jerk for you sure <laughs> okay wait a jerk no a i said joke a joke you dumb shit i thought you said a jerk, I you said <laughs> a jerk for me yeah, sure. Take Martin to jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anyway. why did the chicken cross the road? Because you wanted to get to the football game? No. Uh huh. No, to get to the idiot's house. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> thing i think for tonight yep oh my god that was fun right. cool still even metallica manics like dude he goes i can't help it. i've been left my ass off oh yeah still. all of us have <laughs> oh all right so I, I needed that because what i was dealing with earlier was horrible so i can still. imagine man oh. all right everybody well prepare for some more laughs because we're i'm bringing back everyone's favorite segment Woo! last the uh, partly the anchor of the show, Florida or no? Mass. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 before you go, James. James sent me this. That's that. He sent me this. He goes, "Hey, Drum, here's a joke about you. Why did the semen cross the road?" <laughs> and I said, I, "Why did the semen cross the road? I wore the wrong socks today." <laughs> Oh man! Oh, no! Wow! <laughs> that is fucking funny. That is. That is. That's pretty funny. Even Rachel Rach is splattered. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. As you were. All right. So guys, we're back once again to do Florida or no. So. Oh. Rules are very simple for those who are joining, first listening into this. Uh, what are you doing watching this one? You know, go back to the other ones, the Florida or no, those are great. <laughs> so anyways, oh. this is for the people on the playback, all right? Not now. <laughs> there was a lot of good ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I forgot. But yes, Florida or no, Shadow Mac will tell the story. Yeah, and so it's up to you to decide if it actually came from Florida or not. Very simple. Yeah. Yep, very simple. Um, and everybody in the chat can cooperate. Yes, they can. Yep, everyone can. All right, and for those who are at home listening to the playback uh, uh, right now, you also can play along too. But remember, the points don't matter. Still, <laughs> just like my sex life. No, 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 the points don't matter because you know I can only count to six. Man, what? That's you, Romy, not me. 
No, I could. No, 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 no. I apologize. No, that's not true. No, no, I can count a carrot. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, man, I can count a potato. <laughs> what? That's terrible shit right there. Yep, and I can count a scrap. There you go. All right. Um. So, who's ready to begin? I'm actually, you know, I'll be right back. I have to take a quick pit. Oh, okay. Fox! Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, oh wait. I'm sorry. <clears throat> His name is Lucas. He's got to take a bubbly shit. Boom, boom, boom. Ladies and gentlemen, well, no, but right now, Lucas is now luring in the hot e the the hot women with his piss he's marking the territory to let him be disguised and being fall in love by the order of his acid <laughs> notice how I'm your phone notice how the women is now strapping on Lucas <laughs> wait what kind of show are we watching <laughs> man <laughs> and here's Here's John Madden with the play-by-play. They're not going to bed with the ropes and the belts, and they're not going to fuck his asshole. Okay, you see right here, boom, he's going to make a play, go to the refrigerator, and he's going to grab the chicken, and boom, he did a magic trick, he made it disappear. Magician, there's <laughs> like, you don't be a good magician, Brett Favre. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do your Louise Armstrong impersonation. Oh, <clears throat> what a wonderful world. <laughs> you, did, you did that voice before, and you said it was a SpongeBob character, and I was like, I'm ready to fucking fight you. Oh, no, I was, I was pretending to be, uh, what's that guy? That fucking crab. Mr. Krabs or Larry the Lobster? Larry the Lobster, yeah. Oh, yeah, Larry the Lobster. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's Larry the Lobster. Yeah, I forgot about him. He's, he's a, he was the same voice as Plankton, Mr. Lawrence himself. But, you know, that's just me. Let's continue on. Yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, he doesn't sound like that, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like, sound like that when me and Brett, uh, Brett Farmer, you know, we're both in the bedroom. And, uh, yeah, right here, boom, he just finished. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call the massage of the prostate. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, 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 uh, uh, why is it in the bar? It could be on my hands, you know. Kill two birds, uh, kill two birds with one rock. <laughs> <laughs> two birds in their hand is worth one on the football. Man. <laughs> Ah, see, there he is. I knew he'd come out the same night. Talk about being stuck between a mountain and a hard rock. Hey, hey, before we start, please do the Frank Holland. Oh, <laughs> right. So, are you ready to get going? one? Yes. What are you saying? You gotta say, please do the I did! I did, you little oh, shit. My... I'm sorry. <laughs> James says that because, look, you look like a lamp. <laughs> Man, what happened, you Lucas? Mean. Why are you a lamp? I don't know. I don't know why I'm a lamp. Well, it's right. not a very good lamp because he's dimming. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can see the smoke from here. Uh, all right, so are we ready, gentlemen? Yes. All right. Right. Go ahead and uh, strap up your socks and grab your cocks. Let's do this. Let's step again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Man. Let's see. Okay. Man punches cougar to save his dog. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> I hope it ain't the cougars in Red Dead Redemption where they kill you in, like, one or two hits. <laughs> man. <laughs> A man punches... Hmm. A man punches cougar to say, hey, man, hey, kudos to that guy, man, because they say a dog is a man's best friend. Hell yeah. Man. Yeah, man, absolutely. I'm going to say no, honestly. You're going to say no? I'm going to say no. Mm, I'm going to say no, too, because I don't think there's c- c- 
cougars in Florida. Exactly. Well, there's lots of cougars. Yeah, there are. Oh, no, no, not them kind of cougars, you son of a bitch. <laughs> in actuality, there are cougars in, mm. in Florida. I'm going to say no. And, and Florida Panthers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, I thought I heard feedback. Yeah, I'm going to say no, too. You say no? Yeah. Well, you both have a point on the board. You'd be correct. This actually happened in Canada. <laughs> really? Oh, speaking of Canada. Yeah. It happened at a Tim Hortons, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it, which is a can, uh, Canadian um, uh, exclusive uh, store. Okay. Will Gibbs said he didn't realize it was a cougar that had caught his beloved pet husky by the neck until he pummeled it in the uh, pummeled the wild animal in the head. He oh my quotes, God. He quotes, I wasn't really analyzing it too much at the time, he said. All that was going through my mind is I had to protect my dog. It was just very instinctual. My dogs are like my children. Um... The man was meeting a friend for a coffee at the White Court Tim Hortons on December 26th, and when he let his two dogs, Sasha and Mongo, out in the parking lot for a short run, within seconds he had heard Sasha, the female of the pair, start yelping. Oh, man. Cougar, a cougar had emerged from the woods nearby and pounced, he said. <laughs> what are you fucking laughing at? Go to the network! What? What oh, now? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Well, my internet's being really shitty right now, so I can't really... Oh, like, okay. I'm going, going, I'm going to go check this out. Let me see. Like, I, I can screen share if you want me to. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. I'll, 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 look, I'll, look through, I'll look through my phone. Hang on, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Okay, what's the you know, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shane. I had uh, I had to say that. Oh boy. Go ahead. All right, one on the board. Yeah, one, one for the board for each. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see. Um. That's brilliant. Oh my god. Okay, next one. Man's front door walled up overnight. Florida or no? Wait, say that again. Man's door what? Man's front door walled up overnight. Walled Florida. up. What does walled that mean? Oh, weld. Like like a welder's. Oh, shit. No, walled. Walled up. I'm fucking... You, you know what I mean? Ex constructing, a, constructing a wall right in front of uh, the door. Oh, my God. How the fuck do you do that? Well, well we're going to find out in a minute. A minute? So, construction workers blocked his way from exiting and entered the house. Yes, that man. Ridiculous. We're going to figure out the full story once you guys make a guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say no again. you going to say no? Sure, I'm going to say yes, actually. you going to say yes? Well, if you said no, you'd be correct. This happened in Germany and Berlin. Oh, yeah, they built a Berlin Wall in front of this plant. Well, he actually made he uh, he actually uh, mentioned that. And see, police, <laughs> police say a man in Western Germany ran to a wall literally as he opened up his front door to leave the house <laughs> earlier this week. The man heading out of his house in Mainhausen near Frankfurt on Monday morning, but found that unknown perpetrators had, it seems quietly without attracting anyone's attention, built a wall in the doorway late at night. He had to tear down the wall to leave. A police statement said the man must have felt like a Berliner back in um, August uh, 1961. <laughs> oh, my God. I bet oh you if he was, God, when he was man. tearing down that wall, he must have been playing Pink Floyd in the background to motivate him. <laughs> man. Yep. Oh, my God. That went over your fucking heads. Pink Floyd, no. the wall. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I, 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 I knew sorry. it. Sorry. I was being contacted through my, my sliding glass door. Apparently, I'm being too loud. So. Oh, no, no. I know Pink Floyd, dark side of the crack of my butt. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so now we got two versus one on the board. Not bad. Anything can happen. So let's move on to the next one. All right. Man slapped woman because of her driving, officials say. What? Or no. What? Man slapped slaps woman because of her driving officials say god damn was it was it uh <laughs> i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say yes on this one too man 
You say yes? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yep, you'd be correct. This did happen in Florida. Uh, let me see. Uh, see. <laughs> Look, it's why were you slapped by a guy the other day? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. You know what? Puppy. Puppy attack. I want you guys to see the puppy. Look at oh, him. Oh, look how cute he is. Look at the puppy. <laughs> okay, that, it is cute, but you're making it scary. <laughs> hey, Let's I see. love it, puppy. Did it even, did that, what? I think this happened in Ocala. Really? There's a place. I think there's a place in um, Florida called Ocala. Uh, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Huh, okay. Watch out this holiday. Uh, watch out for holiday road rage. Even grandma got run o- once run over by a reindeer. <laughs> After a woman pulled into a gas station, an aggressive driver identified as Leonard Kuhn, who was behind her, followed her, got out of his vehicle, pushed uh, her before getting back up and touching the woman with his car. According to the arrest, um, reports the Ocala Star Banner. Kuhn then allegedly got out of his vehicle again and slapped the woman, which he later fesses up telling Man. officers he was mad because of her driving. No. Oh. Holy fuck. Yeah. God damn. Oh my god. Uh, fucking Metallica Mania make another movie. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And it's so brilliant to know, like, to a place of the curse. Oh man. my god. Let me see. Oh my god. God damn, so he, this guy just smacked that shit out of him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Fuck, oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah, got the woman out of the car, and so she was on the ground, he fucking smacked the shit out of her. God damn! Oh, I know. Still. James, James just, he said, I remember saying this joke, he said this, that she had two black eyes, I guess she had to be told twice. Oh. oh. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> God uh, damn, okay. Me, oh, that's funny. Dude, you're already good. All right. <laughs> so that both, you both said yes on this, right? Yes. Oh uh, so yes. Uh, all right. Three so that three to two, indeed. All right. Let me see. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna save that one for later. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Grinch accused of stealing hundreds of toys from Toys for Tots. Florida or no? What? Wow, mm-hmm. what a dick. What yeah. a fucking asshole. Man. What do you think? <sighs> yeah. oh. Yes. Say yes. Mm-hmm. Krish. I'm going to say no on this one. you going to say no? Well, unfortunately for you, Lucas, that did happen in Florida. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. Let's see. It was happened in Eagle Lake, in fact. Could where's she? Eagle, could she? Eagle, what? Where's Eagle Lake located? I don't know, actually. I'm not too familiar with that. Me um, either. I, I'm not either. Anyways, could she be the queen of all Grinches? An Eagle Lake woman, oh Tam- my God. Tammy Strickland, illegally tried to collect more than 100 toys by using 140... A uh, fake kid's name on a falsified Toys for Tots application, where she listed herself as the contact person on behalf of the behalf of the children, according to the Polk County Sheriff reports, Bay News Nine in Tampa. Oh, so that happens in Tampa. I think. Okay. That, yeah, that, that was that is sort of true. She was my uh, comp. She was my companions. It were all butt parks. <laughs> Man. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Look, it's just motionless. I'm messaging someone. Man. Tis the friggin' season, man. All right, so that uh, brings Romy at four and Lucas at two. Still anyone's game. Hey, he's yes. came back. Wait. Yeah, he's in it before. Oh, 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 he goes. Hey, James goes. Hey, Romy, what's the difference between a joke and two dicks? You can't take a joke. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, yeah, I just farted. <laughs> was that, dude, I thought was that you farting, dude? That was me. <laughs> Jesus, H. Christ, dude, you, you fucking shooting out stinking oh, nasty God, ass plums. So, so bad now. Holy God. <laughs> so bad, dude. I bet you the fuck. Where's the ra- you need a radi you need a radiation suit to protect that shit from you. God damn. Oh man. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Alright. So, I said four to two. Moving on to the next one. Alright, here we go. Cop bakes a sorry I tased you cake for an innocent woman he attacked. <laughs> Hold on, <or> no. 
<laughs> Sorry, that. I can't believe that's fucking true. I know, right? <laughs> Man. Oh, we need more competent people. <laughs> oh my god. So what do you think? I'm gonna go with yes. Oh yes. my god, that sounds like Florida. I'm going to say yes, too. <laughs> well, if you said this happened in uh, Florida, you'd be correct. This happened in Pensacola. <laughs> That's like where Roman Rain lives. <laughs> Man. Oh, and Derek, you, wanna, you guys want to see the cake? <laughs> yes, please. All right, here's the cake. Oh, my God. I got to see this. Where, where are you going to post it in the... Group chat. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? It looks like a four-year-old did this. It is. Man. Let me see. A Florida deputy is accused of using excessive force and adding insult to injury by baking his victim a sorry I tased you cake. <laughs> According to the victim, Stephanie Bryan, Deputy Michael Wallers showed Wallers? Wallers? Anyways, showed up at the building where she worked for no reason. He then began bullying her and other employees that were present. Hmm. The lawsuit yeah. states that the officer used his apparent law enforcement authority to intimidate... Uh, hold on a second. Sec. God damn, did you just fart again, Lucas? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. What the fuck, dude? You better hurry up before you shit in your bridges. You have mud pot. I can't shit my bridges, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, he used his apparent law enforcement authority to intimidate, intimidate, harass, and threaten plaintiff about her personal life. Because Wallers did not like uh, how plaintiff uh, failed to respond... Um, to his show of authority, Wallers became increasingly aggressive towards employees in the apart at the apartment complex office, including with Miss Bryan. Miss Bryan says that the uh, officer then took a sweet tea that he was uh, sitting on her desk and refused to give it back to her. When she attempted to get the drink back, the officer tased her. It, oh my God! Tased her in the throat and chest, and then jumped on top of her when she fell to the ground, placing oh, his God. placing his knees firmly on her chest and forcefully remo removing the taser prongs. Holy uh, shit! Uh, overly uh, mm. excessive use of force, dude. If you get hit by a fucking taser, your body locks up and you're not be you're not able to move. You're not going nowhere. Oh uh, no! Yeah, dude, you get shot. Okay, and also that shit goes in your skin too. So you get shot mm -hmm. in the throat. I'm lucky that didn't fucking kill her. Still, yeah, I'm okay. I think there is a lawsuit going on right now. So, oh, um. <laughs> wow, I can't believe this. Well, apparently, the court, according to the um, his uh, the police officer's attorneys, his actions, quote unquote, reflect at worst mere negligence, and that the officer did not act in bad faith or a malicious purpose or in a manner exhibiting wanton or willful disregard of human mm -hmm. rights, safety, or property. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Wow. Oh my god. As a result, is what? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we'll just go ahead and just keep it, checking the network and you know, kind of seeing what's going on there instead of having to, you know. Sorry, man. I'm just. No, no, it's was... fine. It's fine. Oh, no. Shit. No. It's fine. No. What? I'm doing my best. I really am. <laughs> And then it's adding insult to injury. Cool. All right. That's fucking great. Damn. Okay. Right. That's fucking great. That's just what I wanted to hear. Cool. As you were, Shane. No, no. I, 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 don't, I don't want to now. No. I'm cool. I'm cool. Exactly. Because, you know, never mind the fact that I spent... About forty, around forty-five minutes to an hour, searching for these things, and I'm trying to speak, and I keep getting interrupted. I don't even know he. I don't know what happened to uh, the getting interrupted to from Shane. I felt bad for what just happened next to to Shane. This point, let's continue on. That's so. I was just listening to you. I know, I know, but this has happened on more than one occasion. Yeah. All right. I don't mean to stop the show here for a second. All right. But, quite frankly, I'm starting to lose my patience. I got a point. Still. I am. Now, I'm not saying that I'm taking away anything from anyone. These p uh, pictures being posted on the network are funny. They are, in fact, very funny. Thank you, uh, 
Sean Harris for making them and, you know, exactly. being part of the show and everything like that. But when it takes away from the show that is being placed in hand here, the one that I painstakingly put a lot of time and effort into. Yeah. Then it kind of, you know, defeats the entire purpose of me doing all this. All right. I'm trying my best in order to bring a, an excellent show to you guys. We started the new year and we're, look where it's already started off at. I feel bad for you. Not to mention, I've already got people here telling me to be quiet, even though I'm, you know, using my normal indoor voice. I feel bad for you. How, how tell me, you. tell me, how is that, how is that fair? How is not, how is that not fair? It isn't. Feel. Yeah, it isn't. And I want to, this is going to suck now because this is going to be fucking recorded and I, this is going to be showing the worst of me, but I, quite frankly, am fucking tired of it. Exactly, though, I'm just, don't know what's going on next to the Payday Podcast, though, I talk about, I, I, we still have 30 more episodes of Payday Podcast, episodes left to finish off, that which will be added to episodes for Payday Podcast. And I felt sorry for you, Shane, but, you know, how you felt on what's going to happen next to this reaction, the, the next point forward... It's just I felt worried, you know. Let's just say you have a right to do it in the network. Say Gary, Jerome, uh, Lucas, and you together. But the, this attitude like this, this is not happening. Continue on. I'm already a little annoyed with how my internet's acting. I can't do anything outside of this call and previously loaded tabs in order to be able to bring this segment to you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is sad, no. But they again, just so messed up. So, and of course, having to use my phone to check, you know, Facebook and stuff, it's just, I understand. My main so, point is this. These are funny. These are funny. And whenever yeah. anything comes up on, you know, Pain and Gain and such like that, and we love to interact with you guys in the the comment section. We love to interact with people on the MG2C network, where it's basically almost, in a sense, the home base of Pain and Gain, and such is where exactly you guys get to figure out if the show's going on or not. But when it's interrupting the show constantly... It defeats the purpose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and all that just screwed up, you know? I mean, I was on one of the episodes. I was reacting to all 67 episodes, except that we're coming up to reacting to 68 through the night 8th. Coming up on LGBT. You know, that's just me. But now, we're, we're expanding to release um, reaction videos to Flicks of the Dicks coming up. Continue on. What is the fucking point of doing the show then? I'm sorry, I'm I'm stopping this shit for a second because this is fucking annoying. Still. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not per- mad at particularly anybody. No one here, no one in the chat, or anybody in the in, t- in the network. I'm not. You're I'm just, just, you're just frustrated. I'm very frustrated. Yeah. Because every single time I'm trying to speak, this happened probably about five or six times now in this show tonight that I have been interrupted. I don't know what just happened to this shit. You know, when it comes with my reaction video to Pain Gate Podcast episode 67, this is going nowhere, you know? I been, I mean, sure. I mean, let me check when exactly this got cancelled. Uh, Pain Gate Podcast episode uh, 67. I, I checked Mrs. Garrison stuff. Let me see. Because I already checked it all at the time. Because he was awesome this part. I, I was checking Mr. Lucas... And let's see what how, what day that got, got canceled. Hang on, let me, let me go ahead and do that because I, I want to continue on this episode of Belgium Reacts, but this has suddenly just fucking annoyed uh, Shane. So, anyway, let me see. It canceled on September 23rd, 2017. And. It all, it, that's, I wanted to ask Jerome for the table of contents. I couldn't make it last night. Yeah, neither do I, um, Aaliyah. 
I'll I'll do the, I'll just make I'll just react to um the Panya podcast episode ninety eight in a future episode. But for now, let's just continue on. And I, it is one of my biggest pet peeves. I'm gonna put that out right now. It's one of my biggest fucking pet peeves. Well, then that's why I take a I'll take blame to that because I was laughing because I was notified mm-hmm. and I saw that and then that was the last time I did it. I understand. I'm not upset. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not. And I'm hoping everyone is enjoying the show. But I'm... If, if, if this is going to keep going on, I don't want to do this anymore. Still. I'm sorry. I feel bad I for you. sit here and spend my time trying to work on this show that technically isn't even mine for you guys. And then I get interrupted with other people's content that isn't even part of the show. Understood. That just make no se- that makes sense to me, but oh, that's just bullshit to me. I mean, God help me out here. Anyway, let's just continue on. Not fair. So it's not fair. No. I don't know. I want to be able to forget this mess right here. I do. I don't know if I want to forget about it. Well, yeah, forget is, about it as well. Me- but you know, when it comes to all this, it's just oh my God. We still have the reaction video to paying a podcast left to go. I still have to finish off one more break, and then we'll be done with this reaction video of paying a podcast. We'll still need to do flick the dicks right after this is over. So there you go. Let's continue on. Look like an asshole now. No, no. This is what I will do. Oh, when I'm doing the table of contents, I'll just say you know there was uh, a distraction that got underneath your nerves and it would to anyone else who's yeah. doing a, a major segment on the show and you can skip to this portion of time to get back to the overall theme of the segment yeah so. but it doesn't also help that i'm being told that i'm being far too fucking loud about everything i'm trying to keep my voice down as best as i can but apparently it echoes throughout the whole goddamn house and there's nothing i can do about it right Yes, exactly. So that gets under my fucking nerves. And again, it's also my internet being really shitty and I about fucking had it. Yeah, because you are fucking I've had it. I've been living with this constant cutting out of my internet day in, day out, and it's really fucking annoying. Still. So. It's like a, it's like what I said when you got cut. I was yeah. like, I was like, watch. He even told me beforehand, it's his fucking internet. It was giving him the, the it's, it's being a total pain in the ass for, for, no absolute logical reason. And yeah, that will get underneath anybody's skin. Yeah, exactly, because I have work I need to be taken care of. Exactly. It isn't related to the show necessarily. And if I can't have a stable internet connection, which I was very worried about, you know, coming into this show because I didn't know how my voice would sound. And it's... Still. I've been dealing with trying to get this thing fixed for an entire year, year and a half now. And I don't know, we can't figure it out. And I'm, I'm about to say screw it and getting my own internet connection, which means yeah. I'm going to pay more in bills and such. So, yeah. Anyways, can we can we move past this? Because, like, I, in, in actuality, part of me does it just wants to quit the show right now, but a good no, portion no, of me. No, 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 don't do that. That would be the worst case. Don't take the red pill, take the blue pill. I know. I want to be able to forget this and be able to continue on because I've, I've still got my things here. That's really because you know the red pill is for Lucas. It's the morning after pill. <laughs> Still. <laughs> See, I knew that made you laugh, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Lucas. Okay. What's the next? Uh... <laughs> All right. So, anyways, long story short, with the Florida cop here to taste the person, um, yeah. this innocent woman, she got fucking beat the hell up essentially by a freaking cop who was more than just incompetent and of course you know he's a dick and he made a really shitty fucking cake for her but anyways got her in the fucking throw for christ's sakes yeah that i know could've, that could have like penetrated her esophagus and that could she could have like uh drowned in her own blood basically mm-hmm. yeah actually she there's a couple of factors that could have happened actually mm-hmm. all right so four on two anything can happen here Actually, five or f- to three, actually. Continue on. I'm going to move on to the next one. Next uh, one. 
Let me see. Let me see what else have I got. Okay. Horse named Party Till Dawn tests positive for meth. Wait, what? Oh. Why? Oh, you, oh, yeah, I know why. He's probably going on the racetrack. He, that's his, uh, yeah, that's his anabar steroids. <laughs> um, a horse named Party Till Dawn tests positive for meth. <laughs> Dude, what a coincidence. Party Till Dawn tests positive for meth. Yes. Man. That's if Trevor um, Phillips was... That's if Trevor Phillips died and he, he was uh, reimagined into a horse. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this. What do you what think? What the fuck? I don't know. I, I'm literally lost in this one. Yeah. <laughs> Party till dawn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It wouldn't be caffeine because the horse would have crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know honestly. This is. I'm gonna say. Well, I'm gonna say no. I, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound like Florida. That doesn't sound like Florida to me for some reason. Okay. What do you think? Let me think. Of, sure. Maybe maybe the, maybe the horse has ADD. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I think you take meth for ADD. No, dude. Adderall. It's Adderall. It's it, 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 Yeah. It, it is speed. Meth. It's, it is, dude. It's it's basically <laughs> meth if it's legalized. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty I'm much, fine. actually. Give me a second. It's okay. Take your time. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to say no, too. No? Okay. This doesn't sound like a Florida horse. <laughs> <laughs> Are yeah, you sure about that? <laughs> if it was a Florida horse, it'd be cocaine. <laughs> yeah, that kind of is true. All right. Well, you can, since you both said no, you both can chalk up another one on the board for each yes. year because this happened in Queensland, Australia. Um, more specifically, Toowoomba. Toowoomba. Uh, uh, That's also like your most favorite reggae band. Uh, okay, Toowoomba. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's also like your favorite reggae band. Yeah, Gary. Toowoomba. Gary. Man. Oh, Gary. Sebastian says, don't do drugs, ponies. <laughs> I, I want to hear this story. <laughs> I got it. Like, how the hell you get Substance abuse is not only a problem for human athletes. The trainer of an Australian racehorse named Party Till Dawn faces a hearing after the horse tested positive for meth in June. <laughs> The five-year-old mare placed second in two races in June, the Australian Broadcasting Network said. A YouTube video purports that Party Till Dawn winning a race in July by six, six lengths, and the horse's profile shows that it won a race July 16th. Methamphetamine is a powerful, addictive stimulant that can cause increased activity and weak, wakefulness, according to the National oh, Drug oh, Institute. Yeah. Uh, I guess the person, they didn't mention who... Well, I guess this is the owner of the horse. Uh, someone uh, uh, was it Mark McGuire? <laughs> <laughs> someone by the name of Curie. Uh, it was also Man. fined Wednesday by the Queensland Racing Integrity Commission after another horse under his management tested positive for boulderone, a banned synthetic hormone resembling testosterone. Party oh, Til there you go, man. Yeah, Party Till Dawn is the second horse in Queensland that has positive for meth since 2015. The trainer in the case was fined $5,000 after revealing, the, revealing to the authorities that the racehorse Island Tang was in contact with a habitual meth user. Oh, my God. So man. how does a, how does a horse buy meth from a meth dealer? I don't understand that one. Very carefully. I'm no. still trying to figure this one out because... <laughs> I really so, don't know how you could get a horse to buy meth without yeah. money and without the person controlling the horse. Well, they didn't say know. they didn't say that the horse itself went to a drug dealer to get oh, meth. Oh, they did. Uh, <laughs> I'm silly stupid. sausage. Yeah. I'm stupid. <laughs> no, you know, no, it, was mis, it was Mr. Ed. You know he can talk. <laughs> Man, he had rock bottom. <laughs> What the fuck, Lucas? I don't know. <laughs> I think I, I just have blank on that one. Oh, man. All right. It was Seed Biscuit. <laughs> I'm not Seed Biscuit, you fucking man. You're not man. a fucking horse, you fucking <laughs> 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 Oh, God. 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 Oh, God
God, I'm gonna fucking die. I think Sebastian's on to something. He said, you Man. know, I think they're being cheeky with the name. He says, lol, stuffing a horse with drugs, name it Party Till Dawn. You know what? They could possibly be right. <laughs> <laughs> or if it... Oh my god, Over was heroin passing out past noon. <laughs> okay, what's nah. the next one? I can't believe that fucking story's true. <laughs> yeah, right, shit. Fucking Australia. God damn it, Lucas. <laughs> what do you mean, god damn it? Because <laughs> this is what you said earlier. You had it, you had it, you, you, you had a dingus I'm moment. So farting, god damn it. Uh, <laughs> god damn you. You fucking farting, goofy. Goofy, I'm sorry, I can't control awesome. it. Can't control it, my ass. Man, this put a cork on your butt. Time. You've done it before. It's <laughs> coming out the worst time. That's the problem. Right. Well, Kirby's good at sucking. Let him suck the air farts. <laughs> Ew, Kirby just says fuck you. <laughs> Man, right, I can't do this no more. Fuck you. Take too long. Fuck you. All right, moving on. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> and then you got King D. He's like, no. <laughs> and then, oh god. You're saying shit. Go ahead. You're right, go ahead. And then, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So moving on to the next one. Oh, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> no. Mick Road Rage. Women slapped in a Mickey D's drive-through. Officials say. God, what is oh, with these women about getting, this. What's with these, what is with these oh. women getting slapped in cars, man? God damn. Yeah, I know. It's a bad freaking man. It's just the season to slap fucking people. Jesus Christ. <laughs> man. <laughs> was this some new holiday I was not aware of? Like, oh, my God. Uh, I just, did I not get the memo? Still. Okay, the score is uh, five, uh, scores five to three. We have both score. Oh, my God. At Mickey D's? At a Mickey D's. <laughs> it's actually um six to four. Continue on. Mm. Oh my god, <sighs> that's that's tough. Um, the thing <laughs> is, I'm not sure if they're it. Well, then again, Mickey D's is like a national thing. <laughs> what what do the five fingers say to the face? <laughs> Slap! Oh my god, <laughs> I was thinking the same fucking thing. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think the one before was yes. I'm gonna say yes on this one too, man. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm trying to think of this one. Give me a second. Uh, I'm saying yes because I remember the one before where <laughs> that she got slapped. I'm like, yep. <laughs> oh god. Damn. Oh my god. That was... You go so many ways. Yeah, it's just like my sex life. Really, Jerome? <laughs> really, Jerome? That's like your sex life. Stop. Oh my god! Stop. I'm trying not to be. Jerome, just quit your penis while you're ahead. Quit my penis? I'm sorry, it has a mind of its own. Man. I'm gonna say yes. Fuck think, it. I'm gonna you're say thinking yes. with your head, not your brain. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, right. Okay, so. Lucas says yes. You said no, right? No, no, I said yes. You yeah, said yes. I said yes. Man, chalk up another one for the board for each of you, because this did oh, happen in Florida. Oh, see, oh. I knew it. This okay. happened in Tampa. Oh, my God. Oh, really? I'll be damned. Hey, you know what? Just actually... No, never mind. Go on. You were saying. Mm -hmm. All right. This is one, well, here's one customer at McDonald's who apparently wasn't loving it. <laughs> that's, a great, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great opening. I love that. <laughs> Fucking subtle. <laughs> yeah, see, that's my type of humor right there. Cops are on the lookout for a woman driving a Nissan who followed another woman in a Mickey G's drive-thru, got out of her car, opened up the other woman's car, adored, yelled at her, and slapped her in the face, according to St. Oh, Pete Police. Was it about a guy, or was it about... No uh... details. Oh, man. Um, the woman, well, besides this, the woman in the first car had accidentally cut off the Nissan prior to the slapdown record show. That's all they, that's all that they have for the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? Okay. If she accidentally cuts you off, do you think it was actually worth it to fucking stalk her and literally assault dude, her? Dude, I gotta say, road rage in Florida, Florida. Yeah, in, road rage, in, especially in Florida, it can get really bad. 
Mm-hmm. See, this is why in Arizona, you don't, well, I don't know if you see that, but you wouldn't want to because the big chances the other guy's going to, other person's going to have a gun. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> like in Texas, too. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you know, Texas is the largest state in America. <laughs> like, oh, that's coming for you, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Man! Holy shit! Man! Come on, shit your girl, bro. You know you want to. Do it. Do it. What? Do what? It's fucking Alaska! Wait, what? No, I can't do That's bullshit. Alaska! <laughs> no, no, I I, 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 I started to become a geologist. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah. What? How the fuck is it over the place inside of Texas? That's bullshit. So. I am discrediting this source because it sounds bullshit. I can't, I can't this sounds bullshit. Wikipedia. Oh, of course you're Wikipedia. Anybody could have Wikipedia, goddammit. Even you could. Draw. Hey, look, is there's a thing called a map. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a map, but I definitely, there's no way that it could be bigger than California. Yeah, I, I used a map when I try to find a, 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 a hidden treasure chest. <laughs> Even though Man. Alaska's nice to live in, I wouldn't mind life living in Alaska. Oh, I, I really don't consider it. Man, I'm, I'm sorry, but man, that Ooh. was... <laughs> oh, I was I was dying too. Holy shit! Yeah. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so <sighs> six to four. Right. Okay, now here comes the ones that I actually s- seven to five. Get to you on. If best for last. Oh my Zero. god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go All right. <laughs> All right. Police capture inmate who escaped in a hearse with a cat. What? 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 With a kitty cat? Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone escaped from a ki- with a kitty cat okay. in a hearse. Uh, okay, I'm afraid because Shane, excuse me, Shane and I are beloved cat lovers. Mm-hmm. Man. I, know. I know. And if he did anything harmful to that cat, I hope this guy fucking just dies from fire and lives in hell forever. I'm serious. They didn't. Still. I know. Oh, I got the hiccups. I'm just praying to God. See, that's uh, what's here. I think the cat's fine. Okay. It, okay. They didn't say anything about the guy hit doing anything to the cat. They just Mm-mm, no. He just happened to be in the hearse. Okay. Like that's the reason why I didn't watch that movie called The Darkness because I heard they do some. I know, I know they do something bad to a cat in that movie, so, and I'm not gonna watch that for that shit. So I'm not watching either. Fuck that movie. Yeah. Um. God. <laughs> Escape victim in the hearse. Man. <laughs> um. Was it? <laughs> oh my god. Was it part of the monsters? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a show I haven't heard in forever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, that show was funny. Oh, it was. I love that show. You know what show is funny? Hmm. American Dad. Oh, be that's quiet. that's American Dad, though. Love American Dad, man. I'm trying to think of another show that was really I'm funny. Gonna, I'm going to say no. Okay, no. I'm going to say no, too. I really don't. I really don't think it's going to come from Florida. Hold on a second. Man, you guys are fucking detectives today. Way to go, way to go, Sherlock's, because this happened in Louisiana. Man. Wait a minute. If I'm Sherlock, he has to be Watson. Wait, is, because, is it because he's fat? He's, 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 too, he's too stupid to be Watson, man. You're my Watson, Shane. Wait, what? He's too stupid to be Watson. Watson's a oh, doctor. Okay. There's only a doctor. <laughs> yeah, except you don't want to know where I stick the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. I didn't know that one. I already watched it. <laughs> I want to hear this story. Because... The, inmate, 
the inmate who walked off his um, correctional center trusty job at the Louisiana State Police yesterday afternoon was captured. Deputies say 26-year-old Jason B. Alexander stole a hearse from a business on Egret Street in Lake Charles. At apparently 9.30 this morning, um, as of December 8th, um, Authorities within the Orange Police Department in Texas located the stolen hearse, which had been abandoned. Later uh, that same morning, Orange Police officers found another stolen car, which they said Alexander was in. He was taken into custody and charged with uh, with simple escape. According to KPLC, the hearse was being used by Pet Angel Crematory. And there was a cat in the hearse when it was stolen. The feline lived on the premise and yet to be found. Oh, man. Mm. That, I, I'm oh my god I, I'm I'm sick to my stomach cat's not hurt well he's not he's, but he's but he's oh. yeah I know I know uh, okay fuck that guy I hope I hope an inmate fucks him in the ass probably will I'm sorry yeah, well. I'm sorry I, I don't tolerate that shit man yeah neither do I there's no reason to do that to a cat no, I think the cat, no, I, think the cat no. I think honestly the cat was just like you know, uh, just really unlucky. I don't think he was trying to actually do anything to the cat. I think he's just unlucky. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's just the way I think. Uh, and, I feel so bad for Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> well, this one will cheer you up, this next one, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. boy. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Italian priest accused of hosting or... Wow, I fucked it up already. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Did it happen in? Wait. I think... No, I think they just named his nationality. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead. You were saying. Hold on. Let me me, me take a look. Let me make sure. So. Mm. Italian. They make great spaghetti. Yeah. No, I made better. I know. Uh... It's not saying. That's weird. It's not actually saying where it happened. Yeah. Well, I'll be down. Ah, uh, well. Regardless, I fucked it up. But anyways, let me just tell you this: it's an Italian priest accused of hosting orgies and pimping out women. Yes. <laughs> that was Man. So Shane, that's so. But, I'm, but I'm not Italian. <laughs> well, you'd be hoping you'd be pimping them. All right. They're you're apparently doing. investigating a Catholic priest from uh, Padua who had been accused of hosting orgies in the rectory and then pimping out a stable of women. Father Andrea Conton, 48, a parish priest of the Church of St. Lazaro, <laughs> is under investigation of domestic violence and abetting prostitution after three female par- uh, parishioners complained about his unholy behavior, according to the local Italian yeah. media. <laughs> you know what he does? Like, Man. if one of like, 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 um, like, talks back or does something bad, he'll take his hands. No, you know what he'll do? He would take out the cross, they follow him, and holy ghost, smack the shit out of her, and then clean his hands in holy water. <laughs> right now, this is one of the girls that she tries, so she tries to get punished. She's gonna say this: "I don't want to be punched by you. I want to be punched by the big thirteen-inch stick by Shane O'Mac." <laughs> Man, I yeah, and, and she'll <laughs> and she'll see Shane, and so she'd be like, "Claude, have mercy, the Lord's my savior." <laughs> Man. <laughs> Do one of your first say that to you when you first met him? No, get, look, it's, it's not 13. It's a 40-inch cock. Come on now. Get it right. It's the Frog Curtis drone. What? what? It's from okay, yeah, Black, Black Diamond. Black Diamond. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the guy used his uh, his dick as a lasso. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> howdy, howdy, fucking partner. <laughs> Still. <laughs> There's a little snake in my boot. All right, so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since I fucked that one up, I have I have a backup. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to say that was funny. <laughs> he was so damn it. I'm serious though. <laughs> yep, I'll show you the clip later, Jerome. Don't worry. I'll show you later, Jerome. We gotta finish up. Come on. All right. I got I got a uh, backup one since I fucked that one up. Okay. So ashamed of myself. Mm. Dog attacks family trying to dress it in a sweater, injuring three. Oh fuck! <laughs> Man, very angry dog. I hope one of them was Paris Hilton. <laughs> I hope so too. Still, <laughs> nothing says uh, having a great time like getting your jugular torn out by a chihuahua. 
<laughs> you old no Keanu sweater. <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, it's Keanu Taco Bell. Bell. Wait, wait. That's not how you speak Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So what do you think, guys? I got the clip ready for you, Jerome. I'll, I'll see it afterward. Um, no. <clears throat> you going to say no? Lucas? I'm say no. Read it one more time. Okay. Dog attacks family, trying to dress it in a sweater. Um, injuring three people. Okay, this is no. I, all right. Yeah. You're going to say no? Yeah, I'm going to say no. Well, oh, guys, what happened? You guys were Sherlock's, now you're retards. This happened in Florida. Real. What? Mm, Tampa. Oh, fuck it. Oh, what the Tampa. fuck is up with Tampa, man? They do have a good strip club, though. It's all Mars Venus. They do have a really good strip club, though. <laughs> All right. Well, I've been there, okay? I get, I get, I get no. <laughs> Police I use my sweater to grease up the poles. <laughs> Police in Florida say an angry dog sent three people to the hospital after one tried to put a sweater on it. Tampa Police said the pit bull mix named Scarface. Oh, oh, oh and, okay, Scarface in fucking Florida. Mm-hmm. What are the odds? <laughs> a 52 year old woman who was trying to dr- trying to I'm sorry <clears throat> tried to dress him Friday and her husband uh, was attacked while trying to pull the dog off her police oh say the couple's 22 year old son was attacked while trying to stop the dog by stabbing it in the neck and head oh Jesus Christ. the dog, the dog the well, the, well now the thing is the dog went fucking mad like it, well, it, it's, it, a, it's a pit bull they don't exactly stop. They don't. Um, the three people escaped the house and left the dog in the backyard. Police say animal control officers shot it with a tranquilizer gun, but managed to get it back at the house where, the two ch- where, where there were two children present. Police used a beanbag gun and a stun gun on the animal before catching it. Wow. Wait, wait the dog was alive? I think it stabbed in the neck and head? Yeah. Well, well the guy, no, I, think, I think he was. A, he attempted to. I didn't think it actually oh, got Oh, I was going to say. Let me like, see something. Fuck, is he alive? Yeah, well, he said he was no. trying to stop the dog. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was an attempt, I believe. I don't think it actually happened. I was like, like God damn, the guy Jody Aries the fuck out of the dog? <laughs> Man! <laughs> I agree. It's, uh, um, see, I carry the uh, Chihuahuas. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. I mean, it's funny because I have two of those, but they yeah, don't come with those. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, oh no, they're they're like the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was bits and pieces of uh, the Bell Hills Chihuahua. It's, it's a great movie. Continue on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh-huh. I got more. Yeah, I got a few more. All right. Man broke into home, found sleeping with broom. <laughs> no. I'm gonna laugh if it was a janitor. <laughs> man. No, it's you, Jerome. It's your it's your nightstick. You're goddamn right, man. I sand that motherfucker up. <laughs> All you do is just put you would shove that thing so far up your ass it would come out of your throat. That's how fuck. That's what you would do with that from. That's for sure. Dude, if I was able to do that, I'd be joining the circus. You know how much money I'd be making? <laughs> Quite a lot, actually. Man, I call this flaw the impaler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would want to see that show. I'd rather see circus. I would. Of course you would. Shane. Well, yeah, it's a freak of nature. You bring your, all your hoes with you. Oh man, I, I hope they pay, got their own money. I'm not paying for all of them. <laughs> 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 a man wakes. Oh, a man discovered being uh, sleeping with a broom, huh? After being swept away by booze. Man, <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. I'm, gonna say yes. I'm saying yes. Yep, goddamn right. I'm gonna say yes too. This sounds oh, way too much like Florida. Man, you guys are on it now. You decided to get out from your your mental retardation and finally did it. <laughs> this had happened in um in Florida. It happened in um. Let me see. <laughs> is, it, is it Tampa? <laughs> I don't even actually think it says anything. Uh, well, let's read it and find out. Here. Okay. <laughs> oh, my <Right>. God. <laughs> Whoever, this person who writes these uh, articles has really good openings. He can oh. hardly deny he and the broom swept together. And <laughs> <laughs> A UF student, Christian Chambers Cobies, is accused of using a broom to break into a home, setting off an alarm. Um, Gaines- oh, this happened in Gainesville. Really? <laughs> Billy, if you watch this for you, um, yeah, this topic's not your day. Continue on. Billy. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. 
reports the independent Florida alligator. Ha, that's awesome. All right. Responding yeah. official, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Responding officers found Kobe's inside asleep with the broom in which he continued gripping instead of complying with the commands according to his <laughs> arrest. He probably likes to sweep this arrest under the rug. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course he, he would. He also allegedly yeah. told the cops he had been drinking earlier that evening. Uh, yeah, man. bro. I swear, dude. Florida people, when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, breaking laws, they're the dumbest bunch, dude. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Pretty much Florida, Ohio. You know it would be funny? If he, he if he was caught, you know, dressed up like the Wicked Witch. Man. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on. All right. These are the best three that I have saved for last. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Right. Man tries to take selfie with gun in club bathroom. Gun goes off. <laughs> Man. Man, people are more stupid than I can really imagine. No. That's, that's pretty bad, man. It's very bad, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought me messing up the Alaska thing was bad. <laughs> Still. <laughs> You're a pingus for doing that, by the way. Okay. The best kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah the gun and the picture I saw in the comment, they both have a big flash. <laughs> Man. And there was a big flash. <laughs> so. Oh my What do you think? Wow. That's fucking wow. Is this guy still alive? Oh my. I'm saying yes. Hold on. This could be any club, though. This could be. It could, it could be at the strip club you were at, Lucas. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Man! <laughs> um. Okay, so Jerome says yes. I'll, I'm saying yes, easily. Hmm. I'm going to say yes, so honestly. Man, you guys are some real detectives. This did happen in Florida. Yeah. Man. Yeah. All right. An- <laughs> another selfie star named Soren is born. Ron Soren tried to run from the uh, from the bathroom in St. Pete's Club Um after his, uh, <laughs> the club was named Lust, after his handgun <laughs> went off while he was trying to take a selfie with it, cops say. Oh, when that's just, a heavy man, no pun intended. <laughs> when, when, when the gun just charged its bullet, it went through the woman's restroom next door. <gasps> Ooh, fuck. What, wait. No one got hurt. Oh, my God. <sighs> this is where I keep the wait, safety wait, wait. on. Wait, and usually, uh, like, in clubs, like, those bathroom walls are, like, heavy tile shit. What kind of gun was he holding? Still. No, I didn't say. Uh, looks like he'll be facing more than just weapon charges, it seems. Goddamn right, man. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Man, retards, dude. At least with the guy who actually shot himself, it was just himself. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. Shot himself in the leg. Oh, man. <laughs> Silver Wait, what? You don't know about the Black Silver story? He was a famous football oh, player who shot himself okay. in the club with a what? His name oh. is Plaxico Burris. He was played for the, the New York Giants, and he was, like, a huge star for that season. And he accidentally fucking shoots himself in the leg in a fucking nightclub because he had a gun in his in his, in his his jeans. Ah, geniuses. Yeah, Man. I know it. All right. Last two. Okay. I'm going to get you. Um, Seven okay. to five. Uh, let me see. Uh, no. No, eight to six. Oh, oh eight to six. I apologize. Yeah, who's your dumb shot now, motherfucker? All right, here we go. Twelve. <laughs> All right. Adult store employees ward off armed robber by throwing sex toys at him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jerome, that's you with all your female dildos. <laughs> what can I say? You wanted them. They were on clearance. <laughs> Man. <gasps> oh. <laughs> They're practically flying off the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were, you had your hands full. So you had one, your ass, one, your mouth on the way out. <laughs> 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 I keep fucking far. 
<laughs> you fuck. That's why you need a dildo up your bar. You keep fucking flirting. Dude. I'm sorry. This is not a bitch, man. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> I, I don't know. Man. I think I ever left Lauren in a pancake. <laughs> man. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, they threw sex toys? <laughs> yes. Man! They threw sex toys at a, uh, an armed robber. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was fu- that is fucking genius. Um, god. I'm gonna say no, honestly. Okay. I'm like, you know what? I, I was about to say no as well. You can say this no? This almost sounds like Florida, but usually it's the dumb criminals that get it. Yeah. I'm going to say no. You say no? All right. Well, you two are correct yet again. This happened in San Bernardino. Really? Wait, San, Ber- wait, San Bernardino, um... California. Yeah, it's a bigger state. <laughs> you're never gonna let, me go, let me go with that, aren't you? Dude, I was waiting for you to say because I knew it was California. Fuck <laughs> you. Man. <laughs> you motherfucker. All right. On, on Wednesday evening, a man in, in a gray sweatshirt holding what appeared to be a gun walked into lotions and lace only 15 minutes before the store was going to close for the night. According to the LAist, uh, the would-be burglar demanded the cash in the register, something that one employee identified herself only as Amy would not oblige. With the gun, uh, he walked in. I just thought he was trying to be funny, to scare us, she told uh, ABC7 News. But then I saw the gun and I was like, like, really? I don't have time for this. <laughs> After Amy began to yell at the robber, he grabbed her arm, at which point the other employees started hurling adult toys at him. In oh, retrospect, the women throwing the toys called the man a coward and noted sh- uh, that she and her co-worker are pretty feisty. Well, it happened to Dimebag when he shoots, uh, when Nathan Gray shoots him, and I'm like, Nathan Gale, excuse me, shoots him, and all of a sudden, it killed Dimebag. Now with this shit? Seriously? Continue on. It is unclear if the robber's gun was fake, though. Um, KNTV notes it was. Um, uh, notes it was. But the, yeah. as a general rule of thumb, keep in mind that it's probably best not to confront armed uh, burglars. So. They, Man. You know they should have done it. They should have taken out like a loop product and scored in his eyes. <laughs> oh, Man. Oh, 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 that would have been effective. All right. Last one, guys. Ready for this. Mm-hmm. All right. Police arrest man after he tried to break into a home wearing nothing but pants on his arms. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Dude, I saw this video. I think it was on Tosh Porno where the guy was so fucking drunk, he tried to put on his jeans as a jacket. <laughs> man. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I'm saying yes. I'm Wait, saying what? Yes. Wait, hold on. Say it again. A guy or guy arrested. Okay. Police arrest man after he tried to break into a home wearing nothing but pants on his arms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just wash my Levi jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say yes, too. I, I'm sorry. This sounds like four all the time. It sounds exactly like Florida. Man, you guys are on fucking top of it today. Holy shit, man. <laughs> this did happen in Florida. Um, let me see. <laughs> Where at? I'm trying to find out. Uh, Central Florida, Dunnellan. Man. Okay. Okay, I do not know. Um, Dennis Calbaro Rios, 28, faces charges of exposure of sexual organs, criminal mischief, and burglary of an occupied residence. Police say he tried to enter a home in Dunnellan, Florida, wearing nothing but his pants draped over his arm. The uh, assess- <laughs> I wonder if he wore a sweatshirt for his. <laughs> no, no, he was completely exposed. Still, <laughs> it just follows him. It was, it follows Ross, him. was it Ross the line? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yeah, Ross line's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the suspect broke a screen door, entered the front porch, and tried to get inside. Rios apparently tried to open the front door and, and struck a number of times in the house before walking. Deputies arrested, uh, arrested him as he was running down the street naked. Oh! oh <laughs> Boots are a hell of a drug. Okay. Uh, and that leaves that makes the score from from ten to eight. Oh. I mean, 
almost like a football score. Man. It is like a football score, I think. <laughs> I was going to say, like, um, freaking, uh, every single time we do these, it's usually pretty close. Wow. And it, us- and it wasn't mm-hmm. this one. Yeah, last last one was um, a tie, I believe. It yeah, was a tie, and the, one before, the one before Lucas pulled a fucking Peyton Manning and won. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So Jerome oh. is our winner for today. Yet again. <laughs> again, that's right. Yep, but that's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Lucas, you did very well. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys have really nailed it this uh, this time around. Good job. Uh, and I'm very surprised, too. Mm-hmm. So, with that being said, that ends it for mm-hmm. 2000 and uh, the first 2017 Florida or No. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderfully done. Yeah, I'm just going to end it really now because it's been a, a long, hilarious show. Yeah. And say thank you so much for everyone to tune in. Absolutely. And thank you, everyone, for watching Pain and Gain, episode 67. And speaking of porn and dildos, if you excuse me, I'm going to watch some hot uh, Joaquin Braxton Shemel porn. <clears throat> no, of Have course fun. you would. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, um, I am really looking forward to the next episode of Pain and Gain. There will be more shenanigans, more topics, and, of course, more retards. All of us here. <laughs> hey, I'm not a... Oh, wait, I might be. <laughs> you might be? Oh, shit, old man. How you doing? I did mess up on the California <laughs> thing. I can't mess up on check, that. Check in next week when we figure out the retard test between these three idiots. <laughs> man. Anyways, so, with that being said, please look forward to the next uh, next week, and we will see you then. Have a good night, everybody. See you later. Stay awesome. Have a great night, Romy. Mm-hmm. Your little shenanigans. No. That's not what I was. Oh, no, no, he's not. He's not gonna do his thing. All right then. I'll, we'll just he's, end it then. He's a tired man. We'll keep him alive. So that was the Pain Game podcast. What episode sixty-seven? What do I think about this episode? It was amazing, except that I didn't say anything about motherfuck this, uh, something less. But anyway, that's one of the flaws. Now, before we begin this episode wrap up, I want like to tell you what happened on what's gonna happen next to El Chimariat's episode 387. Um,. I like to edit out this episode, and because of that, I wanted to get this apology from Alex Paris because I wanted to edit out this episode with a huge bang, and but instead, I was taping a reaction video to um 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 million dollar sharks video, and that was edited out. So I will. Get to the million dollar sharks video in months to come. So, Alex, if you watch this Elton Meads episode, do not worry, it will never happen again. But, anyways, that will episode for the Elton Meads episode 377, 78, excuse me. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one, it's gonna be the Penny A Podcast episode uh, 68. But until next time, this is Jessica Bob. Peace out, baby. Again, watch me at the guest very soon. But the better Jeff was saying out. See ya.
time All the time